Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shuffle Master. I am your host, Aaron, and today's episode is sponsored by RPGs. That's right. It's my own thing. It's a pin collection. There's 20 pins in each set. It is a random pin set. You get a bag, you get three pins, and they are inspired by 8-bit and 16-bit JRPGs of long, long ago, my favorite area of JRPGs. This is wave two right here. You can grab a bag right now at RPGs.com or GameGrumps.com slash merch. Each bag contains three pins and you get at least one uncommon or greater in each bag. That's right. So the, the worst hit you can get is an uncommon, uh, a common, common, uncommon. And even then, there are some really, really good common pins in there. You got, you got Branch Baby, you got, you got Plump Blobbo, you got Werewolf, you got the, 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 the Warrior and everything. So let's crack open a pack, shall we? Let's check them out. Super easy rip tab. Load it up and what do you get? First bag, boom, we got a scholar, baby. We got a scholar. Love that color scheme. Love the glasses situation. Really, really cute. Number two, kaboom, we got a freaking cleric. That's an uncommon. That's an uncommon. Very nice pin. I love, I love all the detail on this one. This is probably one of the one of the larger pins of the set. And then number three, what do we got here? Kaboom, we got ourselves a warrior. Very nice. The flagship character. We got a little warrior on the front, giving a gasp of all the amazing poles. And we got right here a paladin. One of the one of the one of my favorite pins, actually. I try to put the ones that I like. Uh, a, a lot of ones that I like in common, personally I'd like. Like I said, Branch Baby is one of my favorite. I haven't seen Branch Baby show up a whole lot. So um, if you if you pull one, I consider that like a, like a colloquial uncommon or, or better. Anyway, you can go grab these at RPGs.com. Links in the description below or GameGrumps.com slash merch. They are going fast because of Christmas. Um, we're almost sold out of them uh, in terms of the Wave 2. Wave 1's already sold out, but Wave 2 is getting there. So if you want to pick some up, go go check them out. RPGs.com or GameGrumps.com slash merch. Thank you so much to RPGs for sponsoring this video. LOL. I hope you enjoy them if you grab them. All right, on with the show. Yay! Hello. <laughs> I did it. I pressed all the buttons in the right order. Hell yeah. Wow. All right. Hey, welcome, everybody. How you doing? This is Aaron. I'm the Shuffle Master. You're the Shufflets, and we're doing this together, baby. We're having a good day. We're going to have a good day. We're going to have a good one. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fancy free. It's going to be fantastic. All right? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, baby. Oh, I'm very excited about today. I'll tell you one thing, I'm very excited about today. Um, today is gonna be a very, very good episode. I can feel it. I'm already feeling quite chill. I'm already feeling quite cool. I've got my Fresca. <laughs> fresca, it's the Fresca. Mmm. We're gonna have some fun time. Today's a Pokemon day. I'm always very excited about Pokemon days because those are hype. There's a lot of hype behind them. Um, I do just want to address because there were some people tweeting at me um, that Ethan, uh, your your good boy Crank Gameplays uh, of Unus Honest fame, um, he cracked open a, pa a box of first edition Team Rocket today. First edition Team Rocket. Just, just, for, just for fun, just for fun. So, uh, I, I'm a little upset. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm very happy for the boy. He got some really good pulls. Anyway, I'm not upset, and I'll tell you why. Because he saved me a booster pack. He saved me one booster pack of first edition rocket. Um, now, people were asking if I'm going to be opening it on this stream. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to be opening it on this stream. I'm going to be saving this because I'm starting a collection, and Leonhardt's already did this, so forgive me for being an unoriginal prick, but uh, I want to get a booster pack from every set and then just do like a big... And it'll probably be like a charity thing. I think that would probably be the best way to do it is just like a big marathon session of opening one pack from every set from beginning to end and uh, just turn it into like a, a, a big charity event. Um... So, I, I already have a couple packs, you know, um, from the original sets. First edition Rocket, regular Rocket. We got a regular base set. I might have a first edition Jungle pretty soon. Um, so, I'm sort of slowly amassing, like, one pack from each set. And some of them, some of these packs, man, woo! Let me tell you, some of these packs, you want to talk about, like, you know, Neo Destiny or, like, Dragon Frontier or Sky Ridge or whatever. Like, those are... Those are some those are some intense packs. Ethan, my boy, 
Welcome. Thank you for coming. Circle Tunes. Welcome back. Man, so many good people here. So many good people. This is going to be fun. Um, so today, uh, I'm going to... I See, okay, so I know, listen, Shiny Star V is the latest shiny set, okay? It's the latest shiny set. It's out in Japan. Great set. I've ordered a bunch of them. So we are going to do a Shiny Star V maybe next week if I get them in time. But at the very least, I have been sitting on these GX Ultra Shiny uh, boxes. So these are, if you don't know, this is the Japanese set that Hidden Fates was based on. Um, but Hidden Fates is a half set. Hidden Fates is, I believe, Sun Moon 11.5. It's a half set. Um, which means it doesn't have a whole lot of cards in it. It's got a very minimum amount of cards. This is a full set um, because the other half of these cards were put into Shining Legends, which is another half set for, for Pokemon in America. So G uh, GX Ultra Shiny is two sets in one that we know of. This is Hidden Fates and Shining Legends all in one. So the Shiny Charizard is in here. And we've also got some some big hits from Shining Legends, the, the gold cards. We've got the the, the triple energy cards. Um, we've got uh, what else we got here? There's a lot more trainer cards that we didn't get. The three sisters um, are in here. There's some extra shiny Pokemon that are in here that weren't in Hidden Fates, I believe. Um, so there's a lot of good pulls in here that you can't get in Hidden Fates. Um, so this is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. I'm very, very stoked uh, for this one. And uh, since I only have... So I have five boxes of this, which is 50 packs, um, which usually isn't a full stream for me. So, of course, I always have Hidden Fates packs in the wings. I think that I'm just going to make that my thing. I don't know why. I just really like Hidden Fates. It's a great set. Um, so I'm going to... I'm just probably going to open some more Hidden Fates, a little couple extra Hidden Fates at the end, see if we can pull that freaking shiny Charizard. And fill out my binder. That's that, that that's what I'm in it for. I want to fill up my, my Hidden Fates binder. Because seeing all those shinies together is so nice. And also, you know, you pull a little shiny Charmander, there's a little chunk of change right there, baby. Okay. Hidden farts! Come on! <laughs> Guys, stop! Oh no! What are you, you're ruining the stream! You can't say that! Hidden farts! <laughs> you're gonna make me cry! <laughs> I thought we were taking this seriously, you guys! Oh, oh man! Alright. This is so stupid. Alright. I've actually... So I've... The last Japanese pack that I have opened, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, because maybe I've opened a Japanese pack or two on the stream and I didn't realize it. I mean, I realized it, but I just don't remember. The last Japanese pack that I have opened of, of Pokemon cards was Gym Challenge, or Gym Heroes, or whatever. They mixed up the cards when they brought them to America. There's two sets in Japan, just like there are here. There's Gym 1 and Gym 2, and they have, I don't know why I'm so burpy, they have their own names in Japan. It's like, Gym, gym 1, I think it's just called Gym 1, and Gym 2 is called, like, Fate of the Wild, or something, it's not what it's called, but that's, like, the gist of what it's called. Anyway, those are the last packs I opened. I was obsessed with those packs. I had, I had a local comic store that got those packs in, and they were like twice the price of a regular booster pack. They were like four bucks instead of two bucks. And I was like, whoa, these cards are way cooler. And, and I pulled all kinds of, I still have all of my hollows from those, so I have them in my binder, and they're in great condition. Um, but I also got the trainer the decks from those sets. Uh, so those are the last Japanese cards that I opened. Um, so it's been a long time since I've, I've opened some Japanese packs. This is very exciting for me. Um, they've changed the back of the cards. They look different now. Um, I, I personally prefer the old uh, back of the cards for the Japanese cards. I think it looks way cooler than, uh, than the one they chose now. The one they chose now is all right. But there's something about that original. Maybe it's just because I'm nostalgic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! <laughs> all right. What the hell's going on here? 
Uh, <laughs> let's, let's see what uh, let's see what people are saying in the super chats, huh? Magic Lars fifteen evening. Aaron, I watched Onyx Equinox and it was great. You should ask. You should add to Scott Lee Polka as one of your guests. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. That's an interesting. That's an interesting concept. I'll have to think about that. Um, I love vo- voicing Tescat Lipoca. Such a fun character. Onyx Equinox is such a good show. Go check it out. Episode one's on Crunchyroll right now. I believe they're coming out weekly. It surprises you, man, because you know you get you get certain kinds of vibes from like you know the 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 marketing and stuff, and then you jump in and you're like, whoa, this is like. This is intense. Great show. Susie and I watched it together, and she didn't know what to expect. She just knew I was doing the voice for it. And then when it was done, she was like, okay, where's the second episode? And I was like, oh, there's only one, babe, right now. She's like, what? That's, what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go, go check out Onyx Equinox. It's on Crunchyroll right now. Uh, episode one is available. It's good. I am, I, I play... Tezcatli Polka, who's Quetzalcoatl's brother, um, and they're, they, they, they make a bet. I don't want to spoil anything for the first bit, it, but it's awesome. Uh, great show. Smugface, so good to see you. Good luck with the polls today. Thank you, Smugface. I appreciate that. Good luck to you in whatever you're doing. Karma the Night Owl, hell yeah, more Pokemon. I'm very excited. Hope you get them good ones, Aaron, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Karma the Night Owl. I appreciate that. And I shall. I shall have a great rest of the day. Today's going to be fun. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. And I got a feeling that we might have a little shiny Charizard in here. <laughs> okay. Kyle Bolivar. Aaron, when did you work at Disney? Also, any other crazy Disney stories? Um, when did I work at Disney? It was over 10 years ago. I was very young. Uh, I was probably like 19. 20 maybe 19 I think it was probably 19 anyway um wait I was 21 I was 20 I was 20 when I worked at Disney I can confirm that um 20 when I worked at Disney so that was 13 years ago uh I worked at uh Disney MGM Studios which is now called Disney's Hollywood Studios um, and I worked the Backlot Tour, which is now Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> was not a good attraction. It was when it first started, not anymore. Especially considering it's gone. Um, any other uh, Disney stories? Um, the, only, the only thing that comes to mind is on my last day, I didn't give a shit. So I had a little bit of senioritis. So when I gave the tour, the backlot tour, I just made it about Kenny Loggins. I made the whole tour about Kenny Loggins. Obviously, I gave the tour. I was like, this is whatever. But then I always, like, wrapped Kenny Loggins into it. I was like, <laughs> I was like this is Catastrophe Canyon. Uh, this is where Kenny Loggins famously wrote, I'm all right, after he had a terrible incident here. Like, <laughs> it's just, like, shit like that. I don't know. I was just obsessed with Kenny Loggins at the time. The guy who was driving the car, we called him Rockstar. Um, Because he wore a leather jacket to work. Um, And he was a musician. That's probably also why we called him Rockstar. Uh, He loved it. (laughs) He was like, dude, the fucking Kenny Loggins feel rules. Anyway, (laughs) so there you go. Uh, And I had a woman come up to me after one of the tours and was like, like, "Why why do you love Kenny Loggins so much? What is the deal? And I was like, he's Americans, he's America's greatest musician, ma'am. And then that was the end of that. It's not not a remarkable story, but that's just how that's just how it went. Saint Nicholas, old Saint Thick, welcome back. Wishing you the thickest poles. Thanks, bud. Uh, Nicole Meep, hey Aaron, I love my Shuffle Master shirt from the Power Hour. Do you have any new merch in the works? Love you. Uh, well, we just did a fat restock on Game Grumps for the holiday season. We just restocked the body pillows, which have been the most requested restock of all time. And they were they're, those things are not, weirdly, they're really difficult to get because the sublimation dying or whatever is like, it's like a really strange process that like few companies can do, I guess. Um, anyway, we got the body pillows back. I think those are probably selling like, they might be sold out by now because that was 
I remember hearing when we when we pulled the trigger on restocking those, it was like, oh no, orders are coming in. <laughs> like so. Uh, Dan's is sold out. Of course it is. Uh, Chris V. Awesome, another Shuffle Master stream. I'm gonna buy some ETB. Should I get Champions Path or Vivid Voltage? Well, Vivid Voltage I think has better overall pulls, just in general, but Champions Path has that shiny Charizard. And also has the Suspicious Tin, which I don't know if that's still like a big card to get, but it's got the shiny Charizard. Champions Path has the, Champions Path has the regular VMAX Charizard and Vivid Voltage, no, no, no. Champions Path has the Rainbow Rare, Vivid Char or um, Vmax Charizard. So Champions Path has got some big hits, but I think the rest of the of the of the hits in Champions Path aren't that great. So maybe go Vivid Voltage. You get the Chonky Pikachu. It's a good pick, and you got those amazing rares. So that's fun. It's a fun experience pulling those. Polygaming eighty three. Hey Aaron, I love what you do on Game Grumps. Keep up the amazing job. Love you, man. Love you too, Polygaming. Wingy Wonky. Hey Aaron, you and Susie are relationship goals. I hope my wife and I can be just as disgustingly cute as you two. That's wonderful. Hey man, you know, it's like it, when, you, when you've been together as long as we have, it's just like you've been through everything at this point. Like it's just, it's either love or it's there, there's nothing. And it's like, it's love for us. Like it's just going to go on forever. Um, you just, you see everybody and you've been through so much and you've, You've seen you see everything about the other person, and it's like if you can't, you know, if you can't deal with like what that is and be like that's cool, then it's not gonna. And I've seen I've been like oh fucking Susie's great like <laughs> this is awesome, <laughs> I'm really I'm really pleased. So yeah, she's a great she's a great girl. I love her so much. Um, Caleb DeHart. Hey, Aaron, huge fan since Newgrounds. Also bought my first Magic deck at 20 years because of you. Could you tell my girlfriend, Ashley, she's awesome? Shout out to Ashley, she's awesome. Uh, awesome, man. I hope, we get to, I hope we get to play sometime. James Coltis, I bought a butt ton of Magic cards and it's all your fault. Much love and good luck. You know what? Sounds like it's your fault because it was your wallet that was opened when you got those cards. Can't blame me for that. And also, Magic, he can totally blame me for it, so you should send me some free cards because I'm influencing people to buy your product. <laughs> A single petal. Oh, uh, Ellie Random, sorry. Hey, Aaron, it's my birthday tomorrow, and I am sending good pull vibes your way. Good luck. Thank you, Ellie. I appreciate that. And happy birthday. I hope it's a good one. A single petal. Hey, Aaron, I pulled two five-star characters on Genshin, so I wish you luck with good pulls, too. Oh, man, past that Genshin impact. You're making an impact on these polls, baby. I have posted Lemon and Bill plushies. Hell yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see them. Maverick Hawk. Hey, Shuffle Master. Hope you pulled the hecky out of these polls. <laughs> Terrible start to the week, and so I'm thankful I can de-stress in the rad environment you created here. That's awesome, man. I'm glad that you can you can have some fun here. This is a, this is a fun time. Sam Rush. Thank you. Sitting here watching Shuffle Master on my birthday. Also, welcome back. Happy birthday! Wow, so many birthdays today. What the hell? What is this? Like, uh... November. That's not Capricorn. It's like right before Capricorn. I know that because I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> uh, wouldn't want it any other way. I got RPGs for my birthday. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, what'd you pull? I hope you pulled some good ones. Uh, I say this every time, but you are a delight and I appreciate you. Love you and the GG fam. Thanks, Sam Rush. You're always such a delight. Sagittarius is right now. Sagittarius. Um, all right. There's more Super Chats, but I want to start getting to pulling, all right? So let's do this. Ba-boom. Box one of GX. Now these boxes, um, they are tiny. Uh, if you've if you've never seen a Japanese box before, they're super tiny. Here's a here's an American box for scale. Thick. Um, it's because there's only ten packs in these. There's thirty six in uh, the American boxes. So we've got fifty cards to open. Five boxes. So let's do it. Let's open it up. Fuck it, right? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. No! No! Mamma mia! Oh yeah, I guess Japanese booster boxes are basically elite trainer boxes. But without dice or whatever. 
Oh, trash cam. I need to bring trash closer. Here we go. Trash cam still hasn't been taken out yet, so trash trash is looking pretty pretty hype right now. Can we get some hype for trash <laughs> for the trash? Okay. Are there god packs in this? I didn't know there were god packs. Whoa, look at this. Oh, there's so much like stuff going on here. <laughs> oh, God, oh, fold open, dude. What the hell? Like, what is happening here? There's so much display. All right. Boom. My favorite bit. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. I don't know what it is about, like, cutting from one thing to another and then it misses. It's just hilarious to me. Mm. Dude, tonight... I'm gonna play some fucking Unreal Tournament, and I'm stoked. All right, I'm just hoping I do. I don't have any plans or anything, but that's just what I'm. I wanna get some friends and play some Unreal Tournament. Anyway, boom. If you have Unreal Tournament and you want to play with me, there's only like 50 people on at any given time, so I'll probably be in the server that you're in if you play it tonight. Um, all right, here we go. These are the packs. All right, they 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 all have the little uh, hole so you can hang them on the hangers. Um, and I believe the packs have less cards in them than usual. They have like nine cards in them, than, than, as in the amount of cards that we get. Um, I don't know the order, so I'll have to fit. Oh, that's right. They have, it's fucking Japanese packs. They have like little rip tabs. Or not. Yes, they do. Okay. All right, here we go. I don't know the order for these, so I will figure it out as we go. I can already see something there. Okay, so it's four to the back. That's weird. Here we go. Shit! <laughs> no, it wasn't! I fucked it up! All right, well, here we go. We got a fucking shiny-ass Altaria, and then what we got here? We got a Gar Devoir, baby. A little Gar Devoir GX. Beautiful. These Japanese cards are so goddamn beautiful. It's always different for Japanese packs. Oh my god, so what's the point? Oh wow, we got the shat- oh I forgot about this, the shattered foil. I guess there, I think there's one shattered foil in each pack. This is gorgeous. I love this. What? Why don't- The fucking Wii Cross- Hold on. I just had a Wii Cross- the, the Wii Cross cards have the same foiling. I almost want to say they're like the exact same foiling, but... Like, why don't we get that? Apparently it's a very Japanese thing. So here we go. We got Malamar. We got some things. We got a Rodham, a fan that you put around your neck at Disney World. We got a Magna Magna Might. I Magna Might pull another one of these. We got Bryxen or whatever the fuck this is called. Fennec F F T Talo. And then what's this? Oh my God! Another shot. Wow. There's so many foils. And oh oh. Also, for those of you who don't know. Um, I just remembered this. Each one of these packs has a GX in it. Every single one of these packs has a GX in it. That's, uh... That's just how these packs are. Every single one. So I'm gonna pull at least 50 GX cards today. Isn't that wild? Altaria, baby. Look at that. Four foils in one pack. So you only get 10 packs per booster box, but man, the the the, uh, the drama, the drama in these packs, come on. It's ridiculous. I sleeve upside down for perfect fits. For penny sleeves, I sleeve normally from the top. All right, let's 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 see what we got here. Bulbasaur. See, this, this Bulbasaur isn't in Hidden Fates. This Bulbasaur is in Shining Legends, so there you go. We got Apache Risu, who just told a great joke. He's like, ah, come on. <laughs> you get it. Oh shit! Here we go. This is also one of the exclusive cards. This is uh, this is a triple energy. It counts as fighting, dark, and fairy all at once. That's pretty cool, right? We got a foil, whatever the fuck, dude. I gotta get I gotta get caught up on my on my Pokemans because I don't know any of these creatures. Like, what is this strange creature? We got that Prism Shaman, that Prism Shaman baby, and then we got Lock and Rock. What is what is his name in Japanese? L Lugan Lugan? Luga Lugan. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at this! Come on! These shattered alright, I'm down with these shattered. Come on, look at look at how cute that is! 
Miki Kudo. I don't even know what the, the Dragon or whatever the fuck this thing's name is. And then this is also not in Hidden Fates. Right here. It's just a weird energy or something. And then Qua we got we got a, a Sonic the Hedgehog box art Quagsire here. That's pretty cool. And then uh, some trainers. Clearly drawn by Ken Sugimori. You cannot fake that style. That is as authentic as it gets. Sweet, man. God, these packs are just stacked to the brim. Four foils in each pack. Unreal, man. GX Shiny. Give me a break. Woof. My, my foil stack is bigger than my regular stack. This is ridiculous. I love this. Oh, you love the thumbnail? That's what I'm... I'm trying to make the thumbnails more and more like, what the hell, as I go. Just subtly. It's like the, uh... It's like the Grump Out thumbnails. We, <laughs> this is hysterical to me, by the way. Um, the Grump Out thumbnails. I, uh, I wasn't digging the, the, um, the border. So, I told the team who's on, who's on Grump Out. There's a Grump Out specific team, so I don't have to, I don't have to touch it. Um, they... I told them... I don't like the border, and they were like, all right, we'll phase it out. Their version of phasing it out was they decreased the opacity by 5% which each, with each thumbnail. So nobody would notice. It's the funniest shit in the world to me. So if you go to Grump, I think it's completely phased out at this point. So if you go to Grump Out, and you look at the recent thumbnails, you can see it, like, fading away. <laughs> that fucking killed me. I love that team, man. I love them. I don't want to say I don't touch it. We 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 talk all the time about like what we should do with Grump Out and stuff. So I'm really happy with how it's going. I love I love getting people involved in the whole process, going to the uploads and posting the timestamps and everything. I'm I'm super stoked about how it's going. People seem to be really enjoying it. If you don't know, because there were some people a while ago that didn't know, Grump Out is back. Um, we've been using it mostly as a clip channel right now, so every, we've been posting two clips a day. Um, but the clips have been chosen by the audience, so you can go to a Game Grumps thumb, uh, uh, go to a Game Grumps upload, and then go to the comments of the Game Grumps upload, and then post hashtag Grump Clips, and then a timestamp, and it gets sent to a thing that we built to to organize all that data, and then based on like you know the the popular suggestions, then we clip it. Um, it's so cool, and then we'll credit you if you if you uh, recommended it. It's fucking amazing. It's like it's just like the cool shit. That, I I'm really excited about that stuff. I love stuff like that where it's like there's a there's a there's a flow between like the audience and the and the uh, the content. Really love how Grump Out's going right now. I'm very happy with it. Go check it out. All right, <clears throat> let's open up another one. Oh whoops! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, we got we got screaming double head boy, stomping around. Look at the stompy boy, just stomping. We got lonely Diglett here. Very sad, but maybe inspiring. We got a melting uh, mag whatever. Oh my God! Here we go! Ba boom! Right here! Fucking seeker rare already. Jeez Louise, baby! Some trainers, I remember the American version was like this really long ass name. It was like super mega ultra trainers who know no bounds and work for an organization. Trainers, baby. Aether employees. That's what they call them. We got a freaking, look at this. Hoop, hoop, hoopa. <laughs> Fucking love hoopa, dude. These foil borders and everything. How come we don't get that? That's not fair. Dude, look at this. What is this? Some, it, Anime clamp ass looking anime creature? I don't even know what this is, man. It's not in Hidden Fates. And we got a GX Mars Shadow. This is ridiculous, man. This set is out of control. And then these trainer cards. And I love, I love the silver borders. Come on. This is this is absurd. This is absurd. These the pulls in these in these packs. Like it's unbelievable, man. We didn't get a shattered glass though. That's kind of a bummer. But we did get a hoopa. So there you go. That's not even... Is the art foiled? Yes, it is. Okay. I was like, was it just the border that's foiled? Look at this, man. That's fucking sick. 
I know we pulled this in Hidden Fates, but like, doesn't it look so much cooler when the, like the whole thing is foiled and it's silver and it's like ugh, the Japanese cards just look great. I've I have always posited that the Japanese cards look better than the American cards. To this day, I think they look better. The 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 yellow border is a little. It, it doesn't mesh with some things, you know? But you go silver, and it's like it goes with everything. Here we go. The Mars Shadow is shiny. Would you look at that? Sparkly little Mars Shadow. I don't even know what Mars Shadow is. All I know is that marshmallows are delicious in my cereal. We got an Ivysaur. So cute. And we had this Cosmog, or whatever the fuck they call it. Cosmog. It's a little... It, it looks cute, but then it's got, like, these really menacing, like, spikes. And it's like, I don't know if it's so cute. We got heat more, or heat whatever the fuck it's called. We got the Deancey, baby! We got the Deancey! With that cool fucking invisible uh, outline that shows up in the light. How cool is that? God, this this card made me a Deancey fan. I didn't even know what the hell was going on with Deancey, but... Oh, shit! We got, uh... Uh, Creepy Bamboo Boy! Look at this, baby! Creepy Bamboozle! Oh, we got a Reshiram, baby. A Reshiram. You better get out of here, because Reshiram's going to take you damn. And then we got uh, uh, Mookie Mookie. <laughs> Mookie Mookie Don Beru. Mookie Mookie Dumbbells, dude. And then there's like a flute or something, and a Rodham, and some fucking the meaning of life over here. It's great. It's good pulls, man. Foiling. Oh my god. You know what? You know what else about these cards? These Japanese cards? They are like super like plasticky or like waxy or something. Um, because, you know, I've I've had a lot of people send me cards to sign. And I've signed a lot of cards. And when they send American cards, it takes the ink just fine. But when I sign the Japanese cards, holy shit, I gotta sign it over like three or four times because the ink just disappears. It does not stick to these cards. These cards are full, like completely water resistant. Like, I don't know what the fuck material they're using for these cards, but damn. Alright. I will sign a ducklet if you send me a ducklet with return postage. Um, it has to be a self-addressed envelope with postage on it, and I will sign your ducklet. You have to just send me a ducklet. And I will sign it and send it back. Froki. Be the, be the beauty. The wonder. The magnificence of these creatures. We got a regular Mars Shadow. Little little foiling going on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, simple art. I like the simple stuff. We got a mana fee, baby. I got a, I, I manifested this mana fee right here. Look at that background. The foiling, it just looks like spilt oil. We got whatever this is. Top Tapu 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 Lele? Tapu Titi? Tapu Tapu whatever. We got a shattered glass uh, snover. Is that what his name is? Obama Snow. I uh, love this. Love this guy. Named after me. A cute little snowman. You know I love uh, Pokemon. It's a great, great, great game. And yeah, we got a Venusaur right here. Damn, that's nice. A regular ass Venusaur. Oh yeah, love Obama Snow. So it's a great card. So one of my favorites. I uh, went to a Pokemon tournament the other day and uh, won, won it all. I was in the winner and the loser's bracket, and I uh, won both. It's what I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember Obama? <laughs> all right, here we go. Kaboom. Here we go. Here we go. Rock Rough, or whatever the fuck his name is, I don't know. Look at this Eevee! It's fucking Gallo Senga and Eevee, dude! Eebui! That's how you that's how you say it in Japanese. Eebui! We got fucking Gibble. <laughs> it looks like he's saying Gibble, you know what I mean? Just like, open his own. Gibble! <laughs> oh shit, we got a fucking shiny Reshiram, baby! Leshiranu! GX! There you go. Look at those. Look at those golden. God damn. Look at the fucks. Wham. Usually, usually foils don't look good on camera, but god damn, this looks fucking awesome. And in person, it's even better. 
Wish you could see it, but uh, you never will. <laughs> oh, look, it's Zygarde! It's Zygarde! I'm just kidding. You'll probably see this someday. <laughs> that would be mean. It's, I still don't understand Zygarde. Is he a snake? Is he a person? Is he a plane? I don't know. Strange creature. We got a, dude, I swear to God, they're just, like, fucking with you. Like, at this point, if you're a Pokemon fan, I'm sorry, they're fucking with you. They're just messing with you. Like, what is this and what is this? They're not creatures. They're just shapes. They're just shapes. I don't know if this is a person or if this is, like, uh, an animal or if this is, like, a hubble of rocks. And there's, like, there's, there's wings, I guess. I didn't even notice that at this point. There's wings. Man, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Look at this shattered glass Lucario. Now, that's nice. That's really cool. Dude, I, you know what? I can appreciate the simplicity of some of the, the shattered glass cards. Love this card. So cool. What creative art. Come on. Miki Kudo, you are slowly becoming one of my favorite Pokemon artists there ever were. Mikikudo wanted to be the best, like no one ever was. To catch Mikikudo is your real test. And to stand them is your cause. <laughs> okay. Look at this, our first secret rare um, uh, shiny. That's great. That's great. And we're almost done with the first box. How about that? All right, let's open more. To catch them is my real test. Train the mirrors, my calls. Oh man, can't wait to open another pack. You know, when I was a, when I was a young politician, I uh, loved to open Pokemon cards. Played them with my uh, flatmates. Got a blue. Oh, what's this? It's uh, some kind of uh, dog, a trophy. I don't know. Real shiny though. Oh. That's a, that's a real jacked B right there. It's a jacked ass B. Oh my God, what is this? I don't even know what this shit is, dude. It evolved from Wimpole, so it's a uh, Wim possible. <laughs> oh shit, we gotta whatever this breaks in, but not uh, shatter glass. I gotta learn my Pokemon, dude. I just read the names when I open these cards. I just read the names. Galiso, Galios, Galiosopod, Gosolopod, Gastronomopod. Look at this bad boy. What a handsome bad boy that is. And a Buzzwolf. Uh, love, uh, love Buzzwolf. It's one of my favorite. favorite. Favorite characters in Pokemon. You know, uh, I was a fan when uh, Ash Ketchum was still an 11 year old boy. Oh, he still is? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I don't understand how time works. <laughs> I'm just gonna snip this, dude. There you go. Ba Boom! Open it. Oh my god! I oh <laughs> wow! That was right on the glue mark. Look at that. Clean, clean. Galiosopod. Gala, Gala, Galahan. Here we go. Wait, why is there shiny stuff down here? Wait, did I? What the fuck? Why is there shiny stuff down here? What, what, did I miss this? How did I miss this? We got a Raikou and a, a Ranguru and a, and a this thing. What the and a, and a Mimikyu? What the what? Secret cards? <laughs> did I fuck up? Well, I fucked up, dude. I missed out on a Raikou, this beautiful fanged beast, and a, and a Ranguru. With the with the the silly fan made of tropical leaves, we've got shapes, just shapes. I don't want to hear any of you say that this is a thing, that this is oh, it's a necrozma or whatever. Like, no, it's just shapes. It's look 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 at this. It's just and then there's a triangle there, and then there's like a V, and then here's like a bunch of like star shapes. It's just shapes. This isn't a creature. What are we all besides just shapes? So true. So true. A beautiful musing. What the fuck? There's more? 
What did I do? What? Ah, God damn! Okay, this is a pack that I didn't open. We got a shiny uh, it's a statue, 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 statue kid. That's what I call him. We got a shiny statue kid over here. Look at this. Look at this. These foils, I swear, they look better in the Japanese version. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but we got we got this shiny ass prism energy or whatever. And then we got Brykes, actually Brykes in, right? Is that his name? Mu, uh, Ma, Mafu, Mafukushi. All right. And then we got a GX, this guy. What's his name? Uh, Squishy Boy? Squish, Goo Squish, that's what I'll call him. Goo Squish the Frog. We got a Turtonator who, who just saw the sky falling and he's about to, he's about to go extinct. We got Rodham as a fridge. We got this girl. And then we got another one of these bad boys. Or maybe that was the one that I saw earlier and I just got it out of order. I don't know what the hell's going on with my my pull orders here, but I'm I'm really screwing, really screwing the pooch on this. Sc screwing the pooch. Uh, listen, you can pull all the shiny Pokemon you want. I will say, I will say. Here's what I will say. I am not pulling as many shiny Pokemon as I usually do with Hidden Fates, so it seems like it's harder to get the shiny big bad boys than in Hidden Fates. Maybe I'm just Maybe I'm imagining things, but I feel like Hidden Fates is a little bit more forgiving in terms of pulls. All right, throw it in there. Uh, Kier Kierlia, Kier Kierlia. Wait, hold on. I think I think there is a consistency to this because if I go one, two, three to the front, then we got a uh, girl with hair made out of like when you take toilet paper and like roll it and then like stand it up. We got some kind of creature. Who's calling me? Spam risk? I don't I don't care who's calling me. Don't call me. Steel. We got Guzma, everyone's favorite. Loves that goo. Kirlia, we got this adorable thing. We got execute. Look at this. This little clay this one's like, what the fuck did you just say about my mom? And then we got Xerneas. Dan loves this one. Talking about talking about fancy deer. This is this is damn. He likes Stantler and Xerneas. He likes the deer Pokemon. Uh, we got a Magnezone, baby. Is this the Magnezone that just lets you like move energy from creature to creature? Love it. We got this shit. Like, what is this? This isn't. What is this? It's just explosions. It's just explosions and wires. I mean, good on you for being creative, but like, it looks like all the other things that are just shapes to me. Maybe I'm just an old man. And we got a Zygarde! And this one, he's not a, he's not a tapeworm. He's a beast! He's a beast who looks like a man, but he's got tentacles that are kind of like tapeworms. And the shattered glass version of it, fantastic. Such a good, such a good card. Love it, love it, love it. I spit on this. I spit on just shapes, which is fine. I don't care. I spit on just shapes. Because that's what it deserves, you know? It's what it deserves. All right, that was our first box, man. It was only 10 packs. But, like, look at this. Look. Here's the stack of foils. Here's the stack of non-foils. Like, pretty pretty good deal when it comes to, uh, when it comes to opening packs. Am I right? Like... Damn, I, I'm not complaining. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna fill up a Japanese GX shiny binder real quick. This episode is not sponsored by Fresca. All right, let's see what else is going on with people. And they'll open up another box. We got a lot of cards to get through today, man. It's gonna be fun. Dude, we're just chilling. I mean, that was just the first box, one of five, and then we'll get to some hidden hidden fates box because I want some hidden fates, not boxes. Although, hilariously, my local game store, Legacy Comics, uh, just got like a shit zillion hidden fates product for some reason. Just today, I was opening up GX Ultra Shiny, and I was like, man, I should get some more hidden fates packs. So I like called up my guy and I was like, yo, do you have any Hidden Fates product? And they were like, we literally just got 
like a thousand boxes of Hidden Fates. So I was like, all right. Oh, it just got a reprint. So there you go. That's why. Anyway, I got a bunch. It's a lot of Hidden Fates. Uh, okay. Four 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 nine Steam. Hey Aaron, I was curious what the idea and backstory was to the third grade Transformers play cartoon. <laughs> Josh, get off the stage! Oh, Josh, get off the stage! And the frustrated voice makes me laugh every time. Um, so that was. It, it used to be back in the day. Um, the the Newgrounds office was just like, it was the place to be, man. We would just go there. Well, what would happen is Pico Day, right? So Pico Day is like a celebration of Newgrounds. It's on Tom's birthday. Tom created Newgrounds, Tom Folt. Um, and we would all gather at the Newgrounds office, and we have a big party. All the, all the artists and stuff would gather there. And, um, they still do it. Uh, I haven't been in a while, though. Uh, but what we used to happen was we would go there, and we'd have a big party, and then I would just stay at the office for like two weeks. And it would be like, you know, a, 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 there would be a bunch of artists that would still stay. And then when we would do that, we'd, we'd just jam. We'd just jam on stuff. We'd, you know, make, like, collaboration cartoons or just work on whatever we're working on. Um, and it was, it was, it was the best. Um, in any case, one year, uh, I think it was the second Transformers movie had just come out. Either the first or the second Transformers movie. Maybe the third one. Um... But it had just come out, um, and we were like, let's make a Transformers collaboration cartoon, and we'll just make a bunch of, uh, put a bunch of Transformers cartoons in it, um, just for the movie. And uh, so a bunch of us did, and uh, I was either like, I can't remember if it actually happened or if we just kind of like, were like, ah, whatever, we'll just make cartoons and release them as we go. So I think a couple people made cartoons, it's like Happy Harry made cartoon, and um, but that was mine for our, like, big jam where we were going to make, like, Transformers cartoons. And then I just released it because it, it made me laugh. Um, but, yeah, that's the reason. I think it was the second one. It was the second movie because the, the Transformers play was about the second movie, I remember. So that was, that was what it was. Good times, man. King Shedinja. Aaron, you're so funny and smart and handsome and successful, and I love you. Jesus Christ, thank you, King Shedinja. Jesus, thank you. And you're handsome and successful and smart and funny. You ding dang Pokemon? Yes, this is the, this is my this is one of my wife's shirts at Psychic Circle Oddities. Dead and loving it. Great shirt. It's it's purposely distressed. This is this, the shirt comes like this. Um, love my love my wife's merch. She makes the best fucking goth merch. It's so cool. It's so comfy. She gets the best fucking cuts of shirts. And this is her Dead and Loving and shirt. Go check it out. PsychicCircleOddities.com <sighs> Alright. What was I going to say? Bit Halo. Hey Aaron, just curious since you're a mindful boy. The one who minds. Have you ever watched Midnight Gospel? Good luck on the polls. Yes. Great show. Um, beautiful show. Um, just gets more beautiful as it goes. Uh... I, 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 a lot of respect for that show. I hope there's a second season. Jessica Semeca, hey Aaron, you think you might plan a trip to Leonhardt's Pokemon shop? Yes, I will absolutely be there. No question. What I really want to do is just get packs. I want to bring some of my base set and you know Rocket and because I got you know I have a lot. Uh, so bring some of mine and then fucking build a deck on the spot. And play vintage Pokemon. That's what I really want to do. So, but and I don't care if I buy whatever you know base set cards and I pull a Charizard. I don't give a shit. I'm sleeving it. I'm putting it in a Dragon Shield and I'm playing with it. That's the experience that I want. And that's the experience I think he's trying to create. Because that's how it was with me when I was a kid, man. I remember sitting on the floor of my sports card shop. And, and playing with my shitty water deck that had a fucking Blastoise in it, unsleeved. It's just a naked Blastoise card, and I'm just, like, throwing it on the ground, and I'm like, oh, I'll play Blastoise, I'm so excited. <laughs> like, it's... Because back then, it was, like, ten bucks or whatever. 
I want that experience again. That's what we're all chasing, right? Um, I mean, first the Backstreet Boys tour needs to just stop. I wish I could go. Good luck for the polls, Broski. I think he's going to do it after the Backstreet Boys are done touring. So, Juliet Cerrone. Hey, Aaron, this has made my day already. I have a question for you. How did you make the decision to do this full-time? I'm currently working a 9-to-5 job, and my dream is to quit and write full-time. Um, it's just once it passes over into... I mean, you're taking a significant risk either way, right? That's the way I see it. It's like if you stick with a job you're unhappy with, you're risking your sanity. But if you go with a job that you like doing but isn't necessarily as profitable, then you're risking, you know, living comfortably. Uh, So there's always a risk. Uh, you never really know what's going to happen, especially when shit like the Backstreet Boys tour, <laughs> the Backstreet Boys reunion tour shows up. Um, so I, I, I just did art. Uh, I mean, if we're talking like YouTube, it was when YouTube immediately started monetizing stuff. That's when I switched over and like MCN started showing up and I signed with Machinima, which is, was back then it was a great idea, but. Um, but, uh, in terms of like creative work, I, I started doing it full time when, um, Newgrounds started, uh, sponsoring my cartoons. Um, that's when I was able to move to California because I was making cartoons, um, but on the side when I was like working at Disney and I was like working at like Blockbuster and shit, like it was just something I did for fun. Um, but, uh, if I released a cartoon and then put like the Newgrounds logo on it and stuff, then then they would pay me for that. So that was like enough to be able to live on my own. It wasn't wasn't a lot of money. I, I I've said this before, but when I moved to California, I literally had a computer. I didn't have I didn't have a couch. I didn't have a bed. I just had a computer, and it was it was this sad corner of my room where it was just a carpet and a computer on the floor, and I slept on the floor. Um, for like, I don't remember how long it was. It was only a couple of weeks or something, I, or like a week, because um, I went out and got an air mattress, and then I slept on that for a while. <laughs> so it's like you know, rise and grind. Like, if you want to get somewhere, you just gotta be passionate about it and devote a lot of your time to it. Um, that's just the way the world is. So. Um, I, I actually, I lived in, Palmdale wasn't the first place I lived in in California. I lived in Burbank. I lived in a really shitty apartment in Burbank. Um, and then, well, the first, first place I went, it was like a sublet. It's just some, some guy was like out for a couple months and he just like sublet us that apartment. And it was, that was really shitty. But then we moved into a slightly less shitty apartment in Burbank. Um, and then after that we went to Palmdale and then we came back to Glendale. So... It's quite a, quite a journey. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you just decide, I don't know, like, it's never going to be safe. It's very rare to, to do something on the side and then, like, strike it big with that and then safely transition over. It's never going to be safe. You just got to decide, I'm doing this because I love it, therefore I'm doing this, you know, like. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but as long as it's something that you enjoy doing and it brings you a lot of happiness, then, you know, a life well lived, as far as I'm concerned. Janet LaCava, hey, Aaron, hope you have a great day. I'm just going to stay home and hug my cat since I don't have any family. Thanks for streaming. It always cheers me up. I I suspect a lot of people are just staying home and hugging their cat this year. Um, So I don't think you're alone on that one, Janet. Uh, This is a a strange year for holiday season. Um, Be safe, everybody. Amanda BV, I pulled the shiny Charizard while opening random XY Evolutions packs, so sending some luck your way. Nice, dude. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Uh, XY Evolutions packs famously shot up in price, so that's fun that you did that. Uh, Lord of Wales, my cattle dog, Aiko, wants me to tell you that he loves you and all the other shufflets because he's the happiest best boy. Good luck on the polls. Wow. We have been truly blessed by Aiko, the cattle dog. Peter Woodford, why am I cry? You is the because. Well, I'm sorry to have made you cry. Although sometimes the emotional extremities of crying 
are great. Jacob Isak. All right. Let's let's hear let's hear an update on Jacob Esock's wide stinkums. Well, here we are again, Aaron. It feels like I swallowed a manhole cover, and I need you to put another shiny thicky for it. Pull another shiny thicky for it. It's so hot back there, man. I fear I will turn into a pillar of salt if I look. I don't want to hear about your thick stinkums, dude. <laughs> but please keep messaging me about your thick stinkums. It's fucking hilarious. Steffi Misk. Just here with my best bud, Captain K. Uh, thank you so much for the whole awesome, wholesome content and good luck on the polls today. Thanks, Steffi. I appreciate that. Thanks for joining us. Grandma's lasagna. Hey, Aaron, you said before that you like to cook and was curious. What is your favorite dish to cook slash do you have a specialty dish? Um, my specialty are, are is my breakfast. Um, mostly the eggs. I like to get fancy with my eggs. Um, scrambled eggs. Uh, I do a mean scramble. Yes, it's influenced by the Gordon Ramsay scramble, but also I have added a lot of things. Um, I like pasta. I like making pasta dishes. I make a very good scampi, um, and I make a very good ca cacio e pepe, which is like the most basic shit you can make, but I make it really good. I just mix the starch water and the butter, and you get it to a consistency, and you roast the pepper, and yeah, it's really good. That's my specialty dish, I guess. <laughs> Ryan Yance, glad to see you streaming today. I really enjoyed today's GG, Phasmophobia, even though you and Dan survived. Oh, that's right, Phasmophobia came out today. Uh, it is a great game, and I hope to see more soon. Sending lots of love and good vibes, good pulls, too. Yeah, I believe we do. We, we, we have a couple more episodes of Phasmophobia coming out, so I'm very excited about that. That's great. I'm so glad that came out. That was really fun. Uh, it was great to play with Susie and uh, Ross, too. Dark Fool Dave, hey, Aaron, I'm a little low today. For some reason, couldn't record vids. Not unmotivated or even tired, just a funk. Good luck on polls. Epic gift, blah, blah, blah. Um, sorry to hear that, man. Sometimes days are just like that. You just got to roll with the punches, man. It's just creative work is like that, you know. You can go to a if – you, if, you're, if you're feeling uninspired and you can't get yourself in that place, sometimes that's just how it goes. Tomorrow will be better, my friend. Take it easy. That wild card 777. Hey, man, love all you do. Are there any upcoming GG series you're looking forward to recording? Anything with Dan in person. I'm looking forward to recording anything in person with Dan. Uh, probably Link's Awakening. We really want to play that. Uh, Katie Weaver, my birthday is Tuesday. We are Valentine's Day babies. Hey, happy birthday. Wait. Oh, as in... Uh, congratulations. Happy birthday on, on Thursday. That's Thanksgiving. It's literally Thanksgiving. Your birthday's on Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving. I just assumed you were American, I guess. It, well, you did donate USD, so I guess that was a, that was an assumption that was well-founded. The Loud Mute. Both told my bestie and I got back into Pokemon. Uh, she gave me a bunch of her cards when we were little, base set, and some in Kana. I cried. I'll treasure them. That's awesome, man. Are there any of them shadowless? Do you have a red-cheeked Pikachu? Ryan... Ryan Yance was able to order both body pillows just now. Which Unreal? Unreal Tournament, dude. The first one. Unreal Tournament. Servers are still up, man. You don't have to do anything. You just load it up. Game of the Year Edition. Steam. And there's active servers. I kind of, honestly, I kind of want to host my own Unreal Tournament server and just, like, tweet it out and be like, ah, this is my, I'm just going to fuck around and do weird shit with it. Because the shit that people do, you can't, like, it's so hard to find an Unreal Tournament server that's just Unreal Tournament. Like, all of them have weird mods where it's, like, snipers only rapid fire and shit like that. So, it's a lot of fun. People people have really been stretching Unreal Tournament for the, whatever, fucking 25 years has been out or something. 20 years. I don't, I don't remember when it came out. Red Diamond. Yo, my dude, I'm watching this stream while drawing my webcomic. I have a character in it I think you'd be great voice for. Love you, video game boy. Thanks, bud. I do have a great voice. Nah, just kidding. Michael Pfeffer, hey boyo, my RPGs arrived recently. I got a scholar, a viking, nice, and a cleric. I gotta say I appreciated opening a pack full of people of color. Pins of color? I don't know. I bought more. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yes, that was a focus with RPGs. I want the whole spectrum to be represented in RPGs. That's a, that's a, it's been a goal of mine from the beginning. Wave 1 is the same way. Um, it was actually a bit of a struggle because, and, and this is, I mean, this is fucked up. It's, this isn't me. This is the industry. Um, brown Pantones are are not very like 
they're not diverse. I mean, it was the same thing with like um, film in like early film days, and uh, and uh, even in uh, the NES, like the early video game palettes, like brown, they weren't prioritized. So it was it's, it was it was a bit of a it was it was a hard trying to get like the right brown skin tone um, for for Pantones on the RPGs pins was was tough. I those were the ones I had to go back and forth with. Um, the manufacturer like several times um, because like Ranger would come back and he'd be like ghost white and I'm like that's not he needs to be a specific brown like I want to make sure the whole gamut is covered so this was a really interesting process to see that kind of like you know I hope I hope that changes Ugh. Lord Kata the grass ultra beast you kept you keep pulling is called Pharomosa. Okay. <laughs> and if you look closer at the cars, it looks like a big peony shooting pre. Let's look it up. I, I don't even remember what you're talking about. Pharomosa. Uh, Ultra Beasts. The green Ultra Beasts. This, this one? This one? I think so. I don't know. Anyway, that's great. Pheromosa. I'll shout it out when I pull it next if I do. Oh, the other one? Oh, okay, the grass type. Uh, shit. Oh, this one. This one? Yeah. Okay, that was that's that one. Got it. I'm assuming. I don't want to look at the I don't want to look at the I don't want to look at the pre Pokémon. I don't want to look at the pre uh, Lord Kata, fun fact about Deancey is that she's the queen of Carbink, which is a carbuncle. So to quote GG, which I'm sure you're sick of, Deancey ate itself. Well, you know, I still don't know what a carbuncle is. It's a, a, a rock, I guess, of some kind. I always thought it was a, I always thought it was like a like a snail creature. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Ne ne Nemo sign. Hey Aaron, you've inspired me to start collecting Pokemon cards again. I've spent a lot of money. Love you, man. Keep up what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, man. Uh, I appreciate that, and I will. I'm glad that you started collecting again. Dark Fool Dave. Okay, I got a. What do you call a Manaphy? Okay. What do you call a Manaphy that loves traveling west to eat food from? Manifest Destiny. <laughs> I'll be in my trailer. Dark Dark Fool Dave. It, it's. You know, this bit has gone on too long, and it, it really has to stop. It has to stop. Some monkey. Three, four, four, four. I'm hyped for your trash. I'm simping for Basura. Grump is ripping packs with alt card backs. The trash is on the flora. I'm hyped for your trash. I'm simping for Basura. Grump is ripping packs with alt card backs. The trash is on the flora. I don't know how to do that. I have to focus on it a little bit more. That's good, though. That's, that's, that's some good flow. A single pedal. I got... Tartaglia and Jean, then a couple other characters, Beidou, Diona, and Chungyun. Oh, Genshin Impact. Got it. Genshin is really fun and I just enjoy supporting the dev team. Yeah, man. I'm 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 a big Genshin Impact fan. I haven't played in a while. I just started playing the, the Ancient Gods, the Doom Eternal DLC, which is so fucking hard. Like it just throws you right back into it. It's just like I don't I don't care if it's they know. Like, all of their, like, fucking 95% of the people who are playing that DLC haven't played Doom Eternal for six months. And they're just like, I ah, fuck it, I don't, whatever. It's just, it's just new levels. It's hard as shit. Like, it's so funny. It's so funny to me. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like they did a good job. Because they put the checkpoints really close to each other. I feel like they did it on purpose. Because even though they knew that, they were like, all right, well, we'll just throw, like, a Mancubus at them from a distance... And then, you know, like a couple of like the shotgun guys, and then we'll throw in like like two of the revenants. And it's like I feel I do feel like they like they they reintroduced you to the systems really quick. Even though they gave you fucking like armored mancubus in the first fucking part of the game. It's like it's ridiculous. Anyway. Rasmic Berry. Okay, but Obama and Guest Grumps when? I wish, man. That'd be great. Anyhow, got my signed Shinx card yesterday in the mail. Absolutely made my week. Glad my package made it safely. I was trying to crack my nose. Um, that's awesome, man. I remember signing that Shinx card because I was like, 
Oh, I didn't know other people like Shinx. I always thought Shinx was cool. Um, Joseph Mangano, can Obama join this stream as a special guest? I wish. Stale Moves McGee, happy Thanksgiving. What's your favorite dish to eat slash cook? Um, to cook, mashed potatoes. I make a fucking delicious mashed potatoes. Um, and, it, I mean, it's like, it's not hard. But, you know, you can make mashed potatoes that are kind of lame. Um, I make them super buttery and creamy and it's good shit. Um, to eat, mashed potatoes. <laughs> Nico Drillo. Hey, Aaron, good to see you. You know DVS cards are waiting for you. They are seeing you from the corner. I know, I know. I got to get to it. I got to get to it. It's just there's so many fucking card releases, and I got these a long time ago, and I want to get to these before we get to um, Super Shiny Star, Shiny Star V. Robin, hey, hey, hell yeah, doing a hollow taco Manny to go with all the hollow in these weird-ass cards. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Let's open some more packs, all right? I know there's some more Super Chats, but I'll get to them afterwards. That was all I had on my on my current list. Here we go. I'm going to open this box again. Let's zoom out. And... Da, 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 da. I'm opening cards. Da, 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 da. I open cards. Trash. Da, 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 da. Ho Hollow Taco Manny. Oh, it's a... Uh, man, everyone's doing a hollow taco, Manny. I like it. Get get that get that hollow taco, yo. See, to me, it just sounds like you're going to Taco Bell and you're getting like their rare, like every one in a hundred tacos. It's like, oh shit, this one's shiny. All right, here we go. <laughs> every time, it's funny. All right. Mm. Take a little sip. A little bit of sip in my life. A little bit of sip. Not simp. <laughs> sip. Not simp. All right. <laughs> All right. There's a pack. It's a pack. Oh, this is a Zygarde? I still have no idea what a Zygarde is. I'll never know. And nobody ever tells me. That's the thing that really upsets me, is the chat never tells me or clears up what Zygarde is. They never do. And I always ask for it. But it never comes. <laughs> All right. Mag Cargo, Guzma, sp Skateboard. It's whatever this is, I don't know. It's a fucking uh, purple. Uh, Bebe, Bebe Nomu. Great. Froki, Cosmog, but more. And then we got this again. Not this again. And then we got a fucking Alolan Ninetales. Fairy ass Alolan Ninetales. We got this Ru Ruga Rugan. Like a rock. All right. And then this, oh yeah, Shattered Glass, uh, Shattered Glass Disneyland fan, Rodham. That's sick. Rock and rock, oh, rock and rock. It's nine tails, it's beautiful. Can you imagine being that beautiful? I wish, man. I only wish. These are already curled, man. I'm kind of, like, they're already curled. There we go. <laughs> Uncurled. Next. Lack and rock. All right. Type goo. No, it's type. What is that? Z zero? Zero? I don't know. The point is, I don't care. Nuru, Nuru, got it. Rotom fridge. Look at how fucking happy he is to be a fridge. And then that, and then Obama. Oh, oh, I love this guy. He's, he's cold, just like me. He's always, always cold. And then this, and then Mag, and then what do we got here? We got a Prism, Leo Leos, Leo Guardi, Leo, Leo Leo. What the hell's its name? I don't know. We got, we got Chicken Boy. We got flame chicken! 
Blaziken! And then fucking shapes, dude. I swear to God. Shapes. It's just a bunch of fucking diamond ass shapes. Like, it's not a thing. What is this? Aw, oh, sick, dude. This is dope. All right, I, I like this. This is my favorite pull of the set, dude. Yeah, look at that. Shattered glass. Whoa, I got like a hit with a wave of nostalgia just now. I don't know what the hell that was. What was that even nostalgic for? That was bizarre. Whoa. Boy, I'm going to be thinking about that all day now. What the fuck was that? All right, and next one. Lag and rock. I hope I don't get uh, copyright striked, dude. For singing so good. All right, one, two, three. It's just like the American packs. One, two, three to the front. What the fuck, dude? Satan's butthole. We got uh, 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 like a mox di or a talisman of silence from Magic the Gathering. We got a uh, an Alolan. Look at that neck, dude. As Max Mofo would say. What that neck do? <laughs> this is my terrible, terrible Max Mofo impression. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! Yo, we got one of these from Hidden Fates, but I'm digging this Japanese version. This is gorgeous. Love it. Love it, dude. Beautiful. Oh my god, two shinies in one pack? What the fuck? We got a shiny Magneton. We got a shiny Gardevoir. Jeez, Louise. We got a, is this a, what is this? I don't know. What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. Oh, is it more shapes? Is it just more shapes? What the fuck, dude? And a Reshiram. That's pretty cool. I like that. It looks like a Pokemon with like, with like legs and arms and things that animals have. And not just motherfucking shapes. Jeez Louise. What is that? Leolas with Ultra Necrozma as a fusion? Fusion Haw? I don't want to play Ultra Sun. I want to play Ultra Moon. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. uh, uh. Into. Throw it. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. To the front. These packs are curled as shit, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. A girl, girl. And then Rodham as a, what is that, a oven? All right. Well, we got a sad Q-bone. <laughs> Pining for its mother. What the hell? I hate that. That's so sad. Get away from me. Zorar. We got a sad Diglett. Then we got a heat ran climbing a wall, dude. If you saw that in your bedroom and it was like, <laughs> like climbing up the wall, I would scream. We got Guzzlord, dude. Is that a shiny Guzzlord or is that a regular Guzzlord? I don't know, but he fucking... Everyone thinks it's me. Have you ever seen that clip of Guzzlord like screaming? And he's like, ah! Like, it's not, everyone thinks it's me doing the scream. <laughs> you gotta find that clip, man. It's fucking hysterical. All right. We got a regular Guard of War again. I think this is our second one. And then we got a Polyosipede, Wimpod. Ga Galio, Galios, Galian, Galianamede. All right. Guzzlord's awesome. He's just a fucking mouth. Like, like <laughs> what if we made a Pokemon that was just a mouth? We can't make it just a mouth. All right, well, we'll just put arms or whatever on it. I don't know. All right. What about Explode? No, Explode is screams. We want one where the mouth is open, but stuff goes in it instead of out of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. That's where that's where Pokemon design has gone since it's like. Have we made a bird? Yes, we made a thousand birds. Okay. Then how about a Pokemon that's always screaming? All right, cool. What the fuck is it? Did, what, did I did I root around in Dad's tool closet? Like, jeez, give me some Pokemon. I don't want a leaf blower. What the fuck? Cartana. It's everyone's favorite Halo character. We got a Heat more. We got Heat less right here. <laughs> we got a regular Magneton. Oh, I got a, a Giratina! No, is that what it is? What the fuck is this called? A gab, Gabite. Ga, gi, no, it's not what, It's not Giratina. What the fuck am I talking about? It's a legendary Pokemon. What the fuck is this? Gabber, Gar, Garchomp. Gar, Garstomp. And we got Zekrom. Is that his name? Yeah, Zekrom. 
Garmonk. We got this fucking thing again. What the fuck? It's, it, this looks like when you buy a toy and it's like, it comes with battle armor. And then you put it on and it's like, this looks stupid. And then you take it off and the toy looks cool. Like, that's what, that's what this is. It's like when they reprint a mold of a toy that you already have, but they change it a different color, and then they're like, well, it comes with armor, and it's just stupid. Buzz Swole, Shattered Glass, he's fucking swole as hell. I don't care. <laughs> it's dumb, it looks dumb. I think it looks dumb. And if you think it looks cool, then that's valid too. We're all entitled to our opinions, and that's that. Arms fold, harumph. Gir Giratina! <laughs> My favorite card. And these Japanese cards are so much cooler. Why don't our cards look like this, man? They look so much cooler. I love the silver border. I love the way they foil. These are so much better. Fuck American cards. When are we just gonna go the Power Rangers route and just say like, fuck it, it's it, every new, it's not Mighty Morphin anymore. It's just whatever it is, who cares? When are we gonna do that? I don't like the back though. I mean, it's fine, but the old one's better. IMHO. This card, that card, the other card. Then we got this, and then an Energy, and then a Kirlia, and then what do we got this? Another Deancey. Fancy Deancey over here. We got friggin' Marsh Shadow. We got this thing again, and a Riolu. Wow. You know, for getting four poil foils in a, in a pack, that was as dud as it gets. I mean, it wasn't a duck because the Deancey's pretty cool, but like, I already have it, so I don't give a shit. Anyway. Here we go. And then Deancey goes in the sleeve. I don't perfect fit my Pokemon anymore because I don't. It's like they don't really get played with, they just sort of get bindered. I, I perfect fit my Magic the Gathering cards because I play with them frequently. Um, there we go. Put them, put them in and out of sleeves for decks and stuff. So you don't want to get them fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Quagsire! On a, on a Sonic the Hedgehog box art. Very nice. Uh, Baton? Oh, is this Baton Pass? That's a move, right? Me, 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 me. E, V, 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 V. Magna, T, 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 T. Kier, li, 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 li. <laughs> we got Zygarde, again. Don't understand. Fucking tapeworm over here. We got that Raikou, already got it, Raikou. And we got Squishy Boy again. And then, oh, that's nice, Shattered Glass Manaphy. Wow, this is like shimmery, holy fuck. It's like, ah, it's blinding me! Ah! Shattered Glass in Transformers lore means it's like the opposite affiliation, right? So like Shattered Glass Optimus is, is a Decepticon and like Shattered Glass Megatron is like an Autobot. So whenever I, whenever I say Shattered Glass, it makes me think of like, Oh no, Prowl is bad guy now. <laughs> like, that's what I think of. It's, oh, Megatron's cool. He's all like, he's all like heroic colors, and and he like he fights for freedom. And... Whoops. One, two, three. Where did I get that pack? You'll never know. I'll never tell you. But it was eBay. Execute. Gabby Gibble. Gibby Gibble. Gabby Gibble. You got Apache Risu, he's like, come on, man, you can't be serious. Come on, dude. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Buzz Swole, we got this fucking thing again. What, what did you call it? Uh, Gubilia, Grab, Grabomon, Gristle, Gristle Punk, Silvali, right? And then a fucking Inkay, Shattered Glass. Shattered Glass is fun, man. Feromo, fer, 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 feromosa. Feromosa, got it. That's the one. The Wanderer. Oh yeah, it's kind of kind of Wanderer-esque, like a Magic the Gathering character. And then Buzz Swole. Boom. Swole Boy. Jacked Boy. I'm just gonna fucking, it feels so good to like get this right on the glue and then just like pop it out. Now it doesn't feel good. It just pops right out, slides right out. Sorry I didn't film me throwing the it didn't get in, just in case you were wondering. It didn't it didn't fall in the trash. I don't know if you can see it off in the distance. It's that it's, it's that one. That was the one I threw. It ended up there. 
So you missed out on all the drama. I'm so sorry. Energy. Energy. And something that uses energy. Done. Dragon. Drogo. Chicken. Shiny motherfucking Charmander, baby! That's actually value right there. Shiny Charmander commands some hefty value. That's really nice. I'm into that. Very nice shiny Charmander. Love it. Manaphy. Just pulled that one in the last pack. Uh, but it was a Shattered Glass version. We've got Zygarde. Still don't understand. And also, it's a dragon type, but it uses dark and fairy type. Like, fucking go away. And then Zororororo. 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 Somebody shut that dog up. Zororo. Give him a bone or something. Zororo. Sorry, dog. All right, here's another pack. This is the last pack of this box, man. These boxes go so fast. Ah, shit. Holy shit, I'm fucking hungry. Yo, I'm gonna have to take a pee break and get some chips or something because I'm starving over here. All right. Disc. Two boys. Malamar. Curious Riolu. Beautiful Doug Trio. A... Look at this fucking koi Bulbasaur. This Bulbasaur is like, I made it to the pond. Oh, yeah. We got, uh, shapes. We got fucking wizard dog. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Hey, Glaceon, that's cool. And then a guy with his, his, his hair is just like a cartoon hand. Like it's like a it's like a Gendy Tartakovsky Samurai Jackass hand, just Samurai Jackass. <laughs> That's nice. That's what his hair is. There we go. <laughs> I haven't said the word Jackass in like ten years. All right, boom. All right, that was that was box number two. That was fun. I really like that. I'm just gonna jump into box number three because we got we got a lot of boxes here. We're not, probably not even get to get to get to hidden fates. I just got all those packs for nothing. What the fuck is wrong with me? What a fool I was! What a fool I was! Oh, that was a direct hit, man. All right. Ten packs. Anybody want this part? Anybody want this like display part that I guess you punch out and then you put on the thing? Does anybody want that? Well, too bad! <laughs> Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was really mean. Nice. All right. <laughs> this is so fucking, so fucking mean, dude. Every time I say, does anybody want this, you have to you have to know it's a bit before it even starts. You have to, oh, does anybody want this foil card? It's like, it's, it's going to be a bit. All right. Uh, look at this. Double energy again. And the fucking, what the fuck? This is the same pack that I, that's exactly the same order that I pulled the other day, the other time. And, oh. Okay, this isn't the same. So, uh, the lion, uh, fire chicken, this guy, and... <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna fucking believe what I just pulled. Dude! <laughs> get, get the fuck out of town, man! <laughs> I, I fucking love that Patchy Risu, dude. He's driving me nuts. <laughs> it's just like, I bet you ten fucking dollars he won't get the- Dude, I'm serious! <laughs> uh, love it. Alright. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just crack another pack. Let's just cut it open. I don't fucking care. Pop. Pop! Pop goes the pack. Throw it over there. Landed. Just fine. One, two, three. We're still looking for that Charizard, man. That's what we're that's what we're looking for here. We're looking for the dang Charizard. Oh fuck! Now that's value right there. That's one of the top value cards in the set. The fucking shiny Leafeon, dude. That's very nice. Wow. Very cool. 
I am so into that. I don't even have that from Hidden Fates. I don't even have the American version of this. This is awesome. It's the first time I pulled a shiny Leafy on. I'm feeling very accomplished, very proud. Look at that. Look at that fucking color. Just rainbow, baby. This shit. This is cool. And a motherfucking what that neck do. <laughs> I hope that Max Mofo never ever sees me do an impression of him because it's by far the worst impression of anything I've ever done. Like it is like it is offensively bad how terrible my Max Mofo impression is. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gotta get that Charizard, man. Throw it in. Uh, one, two, three. Here we go. Mag Cargo. S Car Mag. Uh, that we got that Heat Ran again. That's pretty cool. Guzzlord again. Pretty cool. We got t this fucking thing again. Cool, cool. This is new. Shatter Glass. Lu Lusu Waru. Whatever. It's good though. We got a Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele? Is that what it's called? Tapu Lele? I don't know. And then we got fucking Guzzle. <laughs> Guzzle my cream lord over here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And. <laughs> and the thing we go. One, two, three. There we go. Obama. Oh my god. Love this card. All right. We got a happy little dragon. We got energy over here. We got uh, Giratina. <laughs> I'm just going to call him that from now on. Zekrom. The great Glaceon we already got. And oh, fuck. I'm actually more excited about the Shattered Glass cards than anything else because I feel like if I can get like a full Shattered Glass collection, I will feel very accomplished. Because like, you get a GX in every pack, but you don't get a Shattered Glass in every pack. So, in a way, the GXs are kind of lamer and the Shattered Glasses are rarer. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just, just by sheer numbers math. Like it's, like, it's like a Shattered Glass Diglett is actually more rare than any one of the GXs. Because it doesn't show up as much. There we go. Here we go. I, I opened a pack and didn't get a Shattered Glass. I, it was on camera. You can watch. Heat more. I love this. Look at how fucking happy this Ivysaur is. Can't, can't we all just live life like that? Just enjoying a, a, a nice breeze, a beautiful sunset, a fucking plain of grass. Just running around. Just vibing, dude. Not a phone in sight. We got another fucking Deancey. Another fucking Marshadow. What the fuck is this? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the Empire State Building was a fucking Pokemon, dude. What the hell? This is the this is the fucking Transformers toy that's in the movie Big. When Tom Hanks is like, who wants to play with a building? It should be a bug. That's what this shit is. Stupidest shit I've ever seen. And a Sev Viper. That's the first time we've ever pulled this card. Even in regular cards, this is the first time. Fucking dumb, dude. This is dumb as hell. What happened to this? Holy shit, what? Alright, I'm gonna... Maybe I'll just pick up another pack. Even this one's a little jank. All right, cool. I got that one. Great. It's the one I wanted. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next pack. Sorry I'm being rude to your favorite Pokemon, but you know what? They don't have feelings. They're fake. They're not real creatures. Look at Wooper! He's so fucking cute! I'll protect him with my life! <laughs> All right. One, two, three in the front. Uh, whatever. It's it's a, a pissing, pissing coffee maker. We got a Marowak and 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 Mookie Mookie, Mookie Mookie dumbbell, Whooper. <laughs> I mean, 
how could you hate? How could you be a hater? <laughs> oh, it's a chicken. Oh my god, we got a foil, we got a shiny rock rough. They are really stingy with the shinies in this set. I feel like I get a shiny like every other pack in Hidden Fates, but like, what is this, my like fourth shiny out of three boxes? Zygarde, Raikou, and Lock and Rock! I actually heard that echo throughout the entire office when I did that. Thank God I have this compressor on because your ears would have blown the fuck out. Cool. Well, next pack. I'm just gonna cut them from now on. This is great. Uh oh. Okay. It's cool that the act of cut. So I mean, these are heat sealed packs, right? Like, you just with heat, and then it seals itself. There's no glue or anything. So when you cut, like, check this out. Like, it's already open, right? So if I take the scissors, and then I like cut, it it kind of like reseals itself in parts. Isn't that cool? Just, I, I think it's neat. It's how I package RPGs. They, they get heat sealed. I just always thought that was neat. Anyway, here we go. Venusaur and this girl and, oh my god, there's a Dunsparce! Look at him! No Kochi? No, 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 no Kochi? Is that his name in Japanese? I had no idea. All right, well, Dunsparce. He's my boy. Buzzwool, got it. This thing, got it. Pharaoh, Pharaoh Fawcett or whatever. We got Reshiram, got it. And we, oh, this is another energy of the Shattered Glass. That's dope. Fuck yeah. There we go. And... Here we go. Buzz Swole. Three more packs of this Bach. Lack and Rock. Oh, Lack and Rock. See, it seals itself. Isn't that cool? I just think that's neat, you know? I'm like I'm like Marge. I just think they're neat, you know? Homer. <laughs> Bart. All right. Uh, creature, Weevil, Creature, Energy. Kurt Raltz. I always thought Raltz was a funny name. Just, just sounds like like a like an onomatopoeia for like a cartoon sound effect. Raltz. All right. Manaphy. This shit again. Oh, cool. A GX Buzzwool. That's dope. Look at him. Does he look like Dr. Robotnik? Like a little bit. And then Guzzlord. Man, I'm getting a lot. Of, oh, no shit. That's a Shattered Glass Guzzlord. That's pretty dope. Wow, I like that. I'm into that. Lack and rock. Oh, lack and rank. Oh, no, no. Ninja sex grumps. That's a fucking... Uh, oh, God! Oh! Save me! Save me from this world of belches! One, two, three, zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh, my, what a wonderful pull! <laughs> This is, we're cracking packs over here. Uh, Quagsire, Baton, Mimikyu, this, that, the other thing. Fucking, I don't care. I, I literally don't care. I hate this thing. I, I hate it. This, this thing that I hate and her. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's done. It's gone. It's gone. I don't want it anymore. I don't need it. I don't want it. I hate it. Please get it out of here. Please just dispose of this creature so that I never have to look. Look! Look! I made another version of it because it's just fucking shapes! Look! When I cut it up, literally it doesn't matter because it's just fucking shapes! And its escape cost is two. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. I'll just leave it here. Fuck it. I don't care. Just, yeah, yeah. Enjoy that. Stupid ass Pokemon, fake Pokemon, it's dumb. People, people give Pokemon shit for like Klefki and stuff, and it's like whatever. That's cute. It's, it's, it's car keys. It's a little keychain. It's funny. It's a funny little Klefki. Ah, it's adorable. 
But when the, the fucking legendary Pokemon that's just fucking shapes, everyone's like, oh, I love that. And it's like, why? It sucks. It's stupid and uncreative. Hate it. Never want it again. Trubbish. People giving Trubbish garbage, literally. And it's like, dude, it's, it's, it's funny. It's a trash Pokemon. You don't think that's funny? When it's just fucking shapes, it's like, this sucks. Oh, for, oh okay, shiny Altaria while I'm complaining. There's uh, this, that, and the other. God damn this fucking thing! Fucking! It's so stupid! <laughs> Hate it. Hate it. I don't like it. I don't want it. This thing. Come from a universe with bad taste? Is that a thing? All right. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It looks animated. Like, that's how fucking shiny this shit is. It's awesome. Love that. Oh my god. That was it. There's two more boxes left. There's two more boxes left of this Ultra GX Ultra Shiny. Mm. But the thing is, I have to pee, and I need something in my stomach, so I'm gonna do that. Where's my royalty-free music? Where's my royalty-free music? <laughs> I should just put Snorlax owns you on. <laughs> Yo, Snorlax fucking owns in this movie. Royalty-free music. Here we go. It's already, like, advanced. All right, I'll be right back, dude. Uh, what is it? Be right back. Boom. Walking out of the room with my friends in tow. Gonna listen to some music and it sounds like shit because it's coming from my phone.
Uh, listen to the royalty free music. Gonna suck a dick every night and day. Cause I love the way it tastes. Uh, let's go. Pulling Pokemon like nobody knows. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna kiss someone and they won't even know. Cause let's go. I don't even know. <laughs> All right. This is so stupid. All right. Did I get any text? No. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. I'm just joking. <laughs> I have love in my life. All right. Welcome back, me. My name is Aaron Hansen. I had some chips. Barbecue Lay's. I didn't touch them with my hands. I poured them into a cup, and then I just <laughs> did that. Because I didn't want to... Oh, shit, my bad. I didn't want to um get my hands dirty from... So the packs wouldn't get barbecue stank all over them. Mm. Oh god! Oh god! If I wash my hands, then they get wet. I never wash my hands. I'm just fucking kidding, you guys. Of course I wash my hands. I wash my hands all the time. Damn, what the fuck? There's so many super chats. Yo, you guys, what the hell? Lord Kata. Um, Hidden Fates is all random. Ultra Shiny GX has seeded rates. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. Malfazar, Aaron, should I make a sneeze shield for you as well? Nuh-uh. I love sneezing. I'll sneeze on the cards. You know, that's just the natural law of things. Look at this shit. I've just, I just love that this is like staring me in the face. This like foil <laughs> fucking cut ass. Dude, this sucks. It sucks. I hate this character. I don't like him. I'll cut up every card I find of him. Ricky Raya. I had to school my friend on why almonds are terrible for the environment as well as bees. As in, you schooled you skilled your friend about bees and not why they're terrible for the environment. Bees are great for the environment. <laughs> so thank you for opening my eyes to their dastardly ways. Ricky uh, Raya. Ricky Raya. Chat misunderstood what I meant. I meant that almonds are bad for the bees. Just wanted to make sure you understood too. Love you, bee kit. That's what I. Okay, I just made sure. Just made sure. GG Jared Aqua. Hey Aaron, love the TCG content. Gonna be sending you a Dragonite to sign. He's my fave because he's big and good and round and also good. That's true. He's a doofy cartoon dragon. I love that they just were like, it's a dragon Pokemon. Um, it looks like a Disney character. Like it's, they didn't, cause then, you know, then the next one it's like. Tyranitar! It looks like fucking Godzilla! Like, it's <laughs> like what? Well, I don't know. They just didn't. They didn't commit to the doofy dragon shit. Wasn't there a theory that Dragonite was the evolution of? It was supposed to be the original evolution of Magikarp, and then Gyarados was supposed to be the evolution of Dragonair. I was, I was, I think I remember that theory, but it's stupid and it doesn't make sense. <laughs> anyway, because <laughs> it's all about the, it's about the fish that goes upstream and then he turns into a thing or whatever. All theories are dumb. <laughs> they don't make any sense. <laughs> I'm being overly dramatic today. I'm fucking cutting up hollow foil cars and telling everyone their theories are stupid. I don't know what got I don't know what got into me today. I'm I'm fucking I'm I'm saucy. Abby McDonald, thanks for always streaming on the nights where I have a lot of homework to get through because I always look forward to working too hard with you. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh question mark. Zerk, Zerk, Zerky Tree, Buzzwool, and Necrozma, etc., are Ultra Beasts from another dimension. Are supposed to look out of this world. Uh. Yeah, they look fucking stupid. And I wish they would stay in their stupid worlds with their fucking polygons and shit. Like, get out of here. Give me a Charmander all day. 
I don't want to know anything about your stupid fucking diamond shit. Look at him. This is where he belongs. <laughs> this is where Nick Crossman belongs. Chopped up into pieces. <laughs> echo? There was an echo? Oh, because I, cause I did that or something. All right. Chris V, hey, Shuffle Master, I was bored, so I watched you play Kingdom Hearts for the charity, and you never uploaded the ending part. You left me in a cliffhanger. I think I lost it. Something about the footage. It, like, got lost or something. I don't remember. Camus K, thank you. Question mark. Zygarde is a Pokemon with many forms. <laughs> yeah? Let's read about Zygarde. 1% is a cell, 10% is a dog, 50% is a cobra, and 100% is like a giant mecha. I'm going to continue to make this joke for the rest of time. And I want everyone to know <laughs> that it's, it's going to get meta. It's going to be a point where people are going to do it when they know that I know. It's going to be funny, and I want this joke to go on forever. What the fuck is a Zygarde? Nobody ever tells me. I always ask what the fuck a Zygarde is and nobody ever tells me. I'm so confused. It makes no sense. Why is it always different? Camus K, as I hunt for shinies and let's go, I wish you luck on your shiny hunt from this set as well. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I have a lot of respect for shiny hunters in the game because that shit is, requires a lot of patience. My boy uh, Jimmy Wetzel does it and... I, I mean, it's like, you gotta have the patience of a fucking king to do that shit. Uberly awesome dude. Girl Chan in Paradise Kai, when? <laughs> That's a great idea. That's awesome. Uh, for real, though, loved you since 2008. Keep up the good work. Shout out to my wife, Marissa. Shout out to wife, Marissa. Ralphington! Aaron is running out of shirts to wear, hence the hold one right now. Here's some help to get a new one. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Can't wait for you to do a card fight Vanguard box openings. Yeah, I gotta check this out. Send, sending all the Thanksgiving vibes to you and yours. Love this shirt, man. Fucking love this shirt. You can get it at PsychicCircleOddities.com. Dave... Dave's... Dave Sonishville. Aaron, I absolutely insist that you have a great week. I heart you. Thank you, Dave. I hope that you have a great week, too. And I heart you back. Heart. Heart, 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 heart. Elliot Onmocked. Hey, Big Cat. I was wondering if you and Dan would ever consider playing a Pokemon Nuzlocke for some Grump content. Bop. Wait, hold on. Bop. Bop. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought about this before, but I always felt like the zooms and stuff were out of sync a little bit, but then I realized the footage on the screen is like it's like a half second behind on OBS, but when I press the button, it's instantaneous. So I have to I have to press the button a little late for it to work. You know, you're getting a little behind the scenes footage here. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, a Nuzlocke. I would love to do a Nuzlocke. I think we might do that at some point, but I want to be in the same room as Dan. I want to do all these big things. I want to be in the room with him. Thunderous Mountain. Hey, Aaron, when I'm president, can I come on Guest Grumps? I want to beat Mega Man X for you and Dan. I've beaten Mega Man X many times. <clears throat> I've played Mega Man X like three times on the channel now. Maverick Hawk, every time you speak in passions, and yes, when you're president, you can come on Game Grumps. I would love that. Maverick Hawk, every time you speak on, in pa on passions, it reminds me why I started pursuing mine. My comedy partner and I really owe you a lot. Thanks for being a hero. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's what life's all about, man. That's why people watch fucking the dumbest shit on YouTube, because it's not dumb when somebody is passionate about it. When somebody shows up and they're like, dude, check out this fucking train set. And it's like, hell yeah, I'm going to watch this guy talk about his train set. He's really fucking jazzed about it. Like, 
That's why anybody who ever posts footage, any any fucking narc who posts footage of like some dude reacting to some nerdy shit, like watching some trailer for I don't know fucking Power Rangers movie or some shit, and they're like, ah, ah, and they're like freaking out. Like I want that. Who doesn't want that? Like who doesn't want to be that excited about something ever? And and then some fucking douche fuck shows up on Twitter and is like, look at this nerd. You need to get laid, nerd. And it's like, fuck you, dude. He's excited about something. Have you ever been that excited about something? Well, then I guess you've never known joy. So fuck you, you stupid cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this episode's going to get fucking taken down just for all of the bad, <laughs> for all of the bad words in it. <laughs> that I swear to God, dude, that everybody knows the train guy, the train guy video. I watched that video and I everybody it's like, whoa, look at this, what a fucking loser. And it's like, dude, what do you mean? What a fucking loser. I have never known joy that potent in my life. If I could have one second of my entire life be that excited about something, I would be so grateful. The fucking tra- you, you guys haven't seen the train. Just look up, just look up excited train guy or something. It's, it's, it's it, you'll find it. It's just this dude, and he sees this like vintage train roll up, and he's like, oh man, this is a fucking T one eighty or whatever. It's like, oh. The wheels, and then and then it, the horn goes off, and he's like, "Oh my god!" And he's like losing his fucking mind. And I'm just like, "Why not me? <laughs> Why can't I have that?" I've never been that excited about anything in my life. It's not fair. It's not fair. That guy's out there fucking living life, vibing with trains, and I'm in here opening stupid Pokemon cards. What is wrong with me? That's the guy that everyone should live life by. All right. Meryl Fabro. Meryl Fabro. Thanks for making us all this content during this time. Aaron, you're a real inspiration. When you're in the same room again, consider playing Bomberman 2. The two-player has such a good dynamic for you, too. I love Bomberman, man. I, I grew up on Bomberman. I got the Bomberman game that was for the Dreamcast, Bomberman Online, and I played online with, like, two people. It's fun. Attack of the Dodo. Uh, Konnichiwa. My uncle passed away recently and put me in a weird funk ever since. Your streams help put a smile on my face and keep me distracted. Thanks. I'm sorry to hear about your uncle, man, and I'm glad, I'm very grateful that I can be a positive part of your day. And I hope that me opening dumbass Pokemon cards can help you uh, be happy. Because it certainly makes me happy, so I'm glad to pass it on. Abdullah al Sayed. Yo, Aaron, I just bought some shiny V-Boxes and got Vivid Voltage today. Also, I just spent all my money on all four Game Gyaru shirts. Did you get a PS5 yet? I'll give you mine, bro. Thank you. I actually had someone reach out. I, I got a lot of offers from, from fans to send a PS5 my way. Um, obviously paid. I don't want to, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to accept a PS5 for free. Um, and I don't think anybody, <laughs> I don't think anybody was offering that. But anyway, I tur- I, I was just kind of like, I'm not doing it. And then for some reason, this guy emailed me, and I was drunk, and <laughs> and he was just really nice. And he, you know, he had pictures, and it was, just, it was like him and his girlfriend or something. And I was just like, this guy seems nice. And then and I just responded, and I was like half. I was like, I was I was pretty half in the bag. And I was like, hey, thanks, man. Yeah, that's cool. Could you take a picture of the PS5 and it says, hell yeah, on paper? And I'll just make sure. It's, I don't want to throw money into a void or whatever. And it, <laughs> and then later when I sobered, he didn't respond to that. And I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> so I, I responded later and I was like, hey, man, hey, man, I'm sorry. I was a little drunk when I sent that email. But I'm still interested in the PS5. So he could actually write hell yeah on the paper. <laughs> So I have a PS5 coming. So that's exciting. If this man is to be trusted, which he said he was trustworthy, so I, I have no no chance but to trust. 
no, no, whatever, but to trust. Mm. All right. I'm excited. I get to play Demon Souls finally, and nothing else, because I don't care about anything else. I don't like the Spider-Man game. I played it on PS4, and it was boring and lame. And I know that is the most unpopular opinion of all time, but I just don't give a shit about the Spider-Man game, man. I thought it was super monotonous. Bug snacks I can play on the PS4. <laughs> Controversial as fuck. Hyrule Warriors I'm into. Alright. Uh, Lunar Sea. Sup, Aaron? Get anything good yet? Nah. I got this shit. Stupid ass shapes. Brass Bandit. Hey, Aaron, watching this while trying to program a game. I really wish you would talk more about game design, but you're having fun. Have a good week. Yeah, man. I mean, game design, it's tough to talk about. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Game design is tough to talk about because uh, there are a lot of opinions out there, and people get very heated and take it very personally when you talk about a video game in a critical way. And I... I still love talking about game design. I love talking about it with friends who, like, have a conversation with me about it. And if they, like, disagree on something, they, like, they're like, oh, okay, I see your perspective. My perspective is this. And they're not like, you're a fucking moron. You don't know anything about games. You obviously suck. You're, I've seen episodes of Game Grumps where you suck and you skip the tutorial and you're stupid. How dare you make a video about tutorials when you just skip them and you don't know anything about games. So, I try not to talk a whole lot about game design on the internet in a public forum because it gets people really spiced. And I just don't want to deal with that anymore. Sometimes I just get so worked up and I'm like, oh, I'll talk about this. But usually that's the worst time to talk about game design is when I'm all worked up. Because then later it's like, I didn't really mean it. <laughs> I, was just, I was just really spiced. Anyway. That's why I don't talk about game design as much. Because... I, you want to know something that's fucked up? I, to this day, you know, I say I don't read comments, and for the most part it's true, but, like, I've read comments, you know, like, I've read comments on Game Grumps uploads and stuff. I've literally never read a single comment from my Zelda Sequelitis video. I've never read a single comment from that video. To this day, I haven't watched a single rebuttal video. I haven't, because I, it, I'm scared. People are so mean on the internet. I don't want it. I don't want that. All I want to do is I just want to be like, here's the thing that I think. Because if it weren't, if people weren't mean on the internet, I would love to watch people's like, oh, well, this is what I think. But people are so mean. I have to drudge through like, fuck you. You don't know anything about Zelda to get to like, here's an opinion I have that's dissonant from yours. And like, I just don't, I have no interest in it. So, that's why. And there's already stuff, I don't know when I made it, six years ago? There's already stuff in that Zelda video where I'm like, eh, that was a little, I don't know about that. It's a little like, presumptuous at times, and sort of what I like about video games shines through. People like, I, that's the thing I feel like I frame wrong in that video in particular, is... Just, uh, there, there are different types of, there, people play video games for different reasons. Um, and I play video games for a specific reason. And I fall into a lot of the categories. Je Jesse Shell in The Art of Game Design says that there are four different types of gamers, which I don't think, there's probably more, but he, he basically puts it, he's like, he's like, this is the box, there's four types of gamers. There's... Gamers that like to play to be the best. There's gamers that like to play to have an experience. There's gamers that like to play to support other players. And there's gamers that like to play to collect everything. Um, and those are like the four major categories of gamers, right? So, like, if I'm talking about Zelda and there's, like, story or whatever, and I'm like, oh, fuck that. Like, 
that doesn't really apply to a gamer that specifically plays games for an experience, right? Because I'm talking about it from the perspective of, like, I want, like, a challenging game that sort of has, like, uh, you know, ludonarrative elements and, like, the game matches up and stuff and, like, it's challenging and it tells a story with the gameplay and all. Like, that's a different thing. So, it's, it's, it's not... It's not arbitrary because it's, it, it targets – it's easier to focus a game when you know who you're making the game for, you know? Um, it's like obviously you want it to be your own vision, but, like, if you're playing a game and you're like, why isn't this connecting with anybody? There's probably little tweaks that you can make to be like, oh, well, I'm – it seems like I'm focusing this kind of game to be for somebody who, like, wants to get the high score, you know? So, like – take out these small elements that sort of distract from that and then add on to these elements that build on that and then it it hits a niche better. Um, so I don't think it's arbitrary in that way. I think it's cool to be able to sort of figure that out. And also it's easier to talk to other gamers about video games when it's like, you know, you hear all the games they like and it's like, I like Animal Crossing, I like Stardew. And stuff. It's like, oh, okay. So you like chilling, amassing things, you know, uh, taking a slow pay, like, those are types of, obviously, like, not obviously, but, like, typically, somebody who plays Animal Crossing probably isn't going to want to play, I don't know, Doom Eternal. <laughs> you know, like, that's a game that's about being the best. That's a game that's specifically formulated for people who want to be the best, who want to kick ass at what they do, and then there's, you know, so, anyway. Game design, baby! It's been a while since I've read a lot of literature on it, too, so there's probably a lot of strides in game design study and stuff that I'm not familiar with. Chris V, wanted to give you a gift, but I don't know. What's your P.O. box? Uh, the P.O. box is in the About page on the on the YouTube channel. Broho, what did the farmer say when he lost his tractor? I lost my tractor. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Gacko the Pony. Hey, Aaron, it's my niece's birthday. Uh, <laughs> hey, Aaron, it's my niece's birthday. Can you shout out her YouTube channel, Ginger Snap Draws? She just posted a cool redraw of Link-182's Enema of the State, but with sassy Ginger Nurse instead, hearts. Um, Ginger Snap Draws, go check it out. There you go. Boom. <laughs> um, and also to elaborate on the gamer talk, the categories of gamers... It shifts. It can shift, too. You're not born a specific type of person who likes a specific thing. Like, there was a time in my life where I didn't want to be the best at anything. I just wanted to chill out and play video games. And that was that, was, that, was that kind of gamer in that moment. But then, you know, then it shifts, like, just based on different parts of your lives. I loved Animal Crossing when I was growing up. I fucking adored that game. I played the shit out of it. Hours and hours of Animal Crossing. All of them. The first one, you know, Wild World... New Leaf, like I played all of them and I loved them. The new one came out. I don't give a fuck. I don't have time for that shit. It's just it, you know, people change. Their needs change. Their wants change. Uh, Magic Circle. Hey, Aaron. Unfortunately, I have to head out, but I'll definitely be watching past the past broadcast. I love you having a great stream. Loving the Shuffle Master. Magic Circle from the future. This is Aaron from the past. Thank you for your super chat. I hope you're enjoying yourself whatever day you're watching this. 2026? 2048? If the internet and the world still exist then. Alex Kendall. Just got my Dr Grumps capsule box. I got the Animal Crossing and Dr. Cecil Fan Society shirt. Absolutely love them. Thank you so much. That's awesome, man. I'm glad. We, we tried to make a big variety in the boxes this year. Um, and I love that little fucking zero yen coin. It's so cute. Lord Kata, prolonged exposure to all these shiny Pokemon seems to have affected the radiation level in your body because, Aaron, you're glowing today. What? Thank you for the compliment. That's very sweet. Brayton Clune, what's up, my dude? Kind of late to the party again. What's your favorite poll so far since starting Shuffle Master? Oh. Shiny Ducklet, baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fucking... Come on, Stitch! We'll lose him in the geyser field! Alright. 
It's my favorite poll. <laughs> Robin. Hollow Taco is the nail polish brand by YouTuber Simply Nail Logical, who is friends with Safia Nygaard, who is an NSP's video. I don't know what we're talking about. Six Degrees of Game Grubs. Yes, I know Safia. Um, I met her and her husband. Boyfriend. Husband? Fuck. <laughs> now I'm on camera showing that I'm a negligent fool. I met them at the YouTube summit or whatever. And they were very sweet, and I love them both. And they're Starbomb fans, which I didn't know. Um, but they're adorable folk, and I, I, I like them a lot, and I probably would have hung out with them a couple times, if not for the Backstreet Boys reunion tour! Sienna Whaley. Hey, Aaron. I'm working on getting a children's book I wrote published. But I'm so full of nerves. Any advice since you or I, since you or I mean your uncle wrote a book? Everybody thinks I wrote this book. <laughs> I didn't write this book. My uncle wrote this book. Um, no, I don't. I don't know anything about publishing books. I sincerely, you guys, you think it's a bit. I I, I didn't write a book and I didn't publish a book. We helped with the Game Grumps name to to get the book made, but I didn't write it. I swear to you, I did not write this book. My uncle wrote it. So I don't have any, I'm sorry, I don't have any advice. I don't know anything about make, making a book. Fluffy Flareon. Zygards are like tiny weird baby cells that combine with each other to make different shapes. No. Mm-mm. It's just, it's just shapes. It's just shapes. Stinky man. Hey, hey, Aaron, I just got home from work. Hope I didn't miss who today's epic sponsor is. Well, you're in luck because today's sponsor is RPGs. It's my 8-bit and 16-bit JPG, JRPG inspired pin set. You can grab them now at RPGs.com. Link in the description below or GameGrumps.com slash merch. Grabbing an RPG for your friends and family and yourself helps me Keep making Shuffle Master. Glamburger. Aaron, why does everyone hate the PS2 Castlevanias? Because they're bad. Malfazar. Hi, I'm Aku, and welcome to Samurai Jackass. <laughs> I forgot about Samurai Jackass. That's so funny. Um, listen, I... I When I do bits, I keep my eyes closed. And when I tell the truth, I keep my eyes open, okay? This is information for a later date. Moose Cooper, I have covered SB on Moose Cooper game. SB? What is SB? I'll never know. Volpe 5 Hoen. oh Japanese cards, good luck Aaron, thank you. Duke Vulture, Whooper, hell yeah, hell yeah. Just so everybody knows, I did not write Ghost Hunters Adventure Club in The Secret of the Grand Chateau. My uncle wrote it. Broho, thank you for bringing Big Booty Gyarados back. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> One who does simply. Big fan of these sets. When continue Endless Ocean? I don't think we're going to continue it. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Kiwi, 857. Hi, I have to go to bed because I'm an old lady and go to bed early, hella early, but just wanted to wish you luck on your pulse tonight. Hi to Susie. She says hi back, I'm sure. <laughs> Matt Graham. Hey, Billy. What was your favorite Shuffle Master stream? I like the one when Aaron complained about shapes for a long time. I like the one when Aaron complained about shapes for a long time. Fucking love it. Joseph Mangano, LOL. I do. I meant do Obama as a clutch cargo guest. Oh, got it. I, sh I could do that, yeah. That's a funny idea. Montana B, my roommate Shia is upset, had a bad nightmare, and she really loves you. Could you say something to make her feel better? Nightmares aren't real. They're all in your head, which is where reality is. Anyway. So who wrote the book? My fucking uncle! 
What is wrong with you? His name is on the fucking book. Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills. His fucking picture is on the back. It says, listen up, kid. My name is Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills. It's a front cover. Dr. Cecil H.H. H. Mills. That's who wrote the damn book. Why doesn't anybody understand this? Jeez Louise. Who wrote the book? Goodness gracious. Yeah, you think I have time to write a book? I don't have time to make updates to my f And as far as I know, as far as I know, I've only heard rumors about this from the people that talk to me and cuz he never talks to me directly that there's a second that there's a second book that's getting written. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just a rumor I heard, and I don't know if he'll be mad at me for saying that because he's so fucking mercurial. But the point is, I didn't write it. Jeez. <laughs> All right. We got two more boxes to get through, so let's do it, huh? Let's freaking do it. I freaking, I freaking love opening Pokemon cards. I freaking, I freaking love opening Pokemon cards, you guys. Listen, you guys. I just want to open Pokemon cards me a whole life, okay? Listen, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Look at these Pokemon cards. They're amazing, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Are we going to open up another... What the fuck is it called? What the fuck? What the fuck is this thing called? Nick 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 Crosma? What the fuck is this one called? Luna 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 Boy? Nen Neng Neng Nengo? Fuck it. Lunala. If I open up another one of those fucking another necro damn wings necrosma. <laughs> Lunala. If I open up another fucking Lunala, I'm gonna rip that shit to pieces, dude. Ha! Gotta open the door, man. You gotta open the double doors to get to the packs. Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Da 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 Open up the cards with some scissors. Take the cards out. Throw the thing away. Flip it over. One, two, three. Then I'm looking at them. We got a Quag Zero. We got a thing. We got a disc. We got... Dude! You haven't heard this one, dude. I'm telling you. We got energy and polytoad and mark mark markiplier. We got Gallesapod and we got this fucking thing. What the hell is a fucking Zygarde? I don't understand. First it's a tapeworm and then it's a fucking Gundam. What the hell is happening? I don't understand and nobody ever tells me. Literally, I ask every single time and nobody ever explains it to me. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it, dude. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Weevil! This thing! Volkner! Why do I know his name? Who cares? Riolu! Whatever! Uh, Ralts! <laughs> Ralts, everybody! Shiny fucking Ralts! We got another Zygarde, who I still don't understand. We got this fucking thing, and then we got a goo! A goo! A, a goo thing again! We got a goo thing again! Sucks. It's 
go ahead and sleeve it. There we go. We got a Lunala. Look at this. I got fucking shiny all over myself, dude! God damn it! Ah, I'm gonna get it all over the cards now! I'm such a fool! Look at my hands are so glittery! Shit! God, what an asshole! Ah! Uh, what am I gonna do now? I can't open cards with these hands! I'm such a dick. <laughs> All right, I got it mostly clean. Let's sleeve the other cards. Any? Does anybody want this Lunala? Does anybody want this uh, uh, of gem mint? As far as I'm concerned, pretty nice. The corners look nice. Edges are great. Um, you know, very nice Lunala there. Really nice card. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the sleeve. I do, I'll shit on the floor for it. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, are you excited about the new secret lair? Yeah, I'm excited about every secret lair. I don't give a shit. The new magic cards always gets me excited. It's fucking hysterical. Bob, for those of you who don't know, the new secret lair is. They made the lands in the it's Bob Ross paintings. They took Bob Ross paintings and they turned them into basic lands. Holy shit! We got another fucking evolution, baby. This time it's Espion. Espion, whose name is Effie in Japan, I guess. Wow, dude, very nice. These are these are some top shelf cards here. Buzzwool and Kirlia. That's that's a top shelf pull right there. I'm very, very, very happy about that. Fucking sick. Everybody loves Espeon. I, you know what? I remember I used to run an Espeon in my competitive days. Uh, he was a, he was a sick wall. I think I gave him Haze. Um, no, I gave the Golbat Haze. Or the Crobat, rather. Kirlia. Or whatever the fuck it's called. Kirlion. Kill me on my wayward son. There'll be peace with Pokemon. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, Rotom. Energy. Uh, this. Could you imagine being a kid and pulling this card and just being like, this sucks. <laughs> Can I get my money back? Ivysaur, Heat More. And then we got this Prism Energy. That's cool, right? I don't know. And then we got break breaks and blacks and can blazing burr, and that's it. So, pretty lame pack, all things considered. Pretty lame and stupid. Still don't have that Charizard though. Really, really, really looking forward to pulling that secret rare Charizard. Really want the shiny Charizard, but I don't think it's going to happen to be honest with you. Um, you know, not to deter anybody. Still stick around because I could possibly do it. Uh, you know when people call polls and they're like, "Oh, here comes the Charizard." You know it's fake, right? Like they don't, they don't actually know. It's just for the, it's just for show. You know that, right? So when I say I don't know if the Charizard's coming, it's not. Like I'm, I, that's there's no basis for that. I'm literally just saying words. We got this Lucario, pretty cool. We got Chicken again. We got Zoro, and then we got oh. Fucking shattered glass turtinator, dude! He's dropping turts! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> He's dropping sick turts over here, man! Love it, dude. Sleeve the Lucario. Sleeve the whatever this is. Zoro -ro, -ro, ro Sleeve the chicken. Fried chicken, dude, that's what he is. Alright. Fucker's probably delicious. When when Blaziken dies, when a Blaziken dies, because you know they die, when Blaziken dies, do they just fucking eat him up? Like they don't even have to cook him. Like there he is. Here we go. We got Samurai Jackhand, uh, Mimi Q, fucking oh this what the fuck? I, this is new. I have not seen this Sableye ever yet. I think it's in Hidden Fates, but I haven't seen it in this. All right, we got Darkrai. We got regular Altaria foil. We got a Lock and Rock! Or as they call them in Japan, 
Luga Lugan. And then, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. The, the demon finally come out of my body? Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> we got fucking dad joke Patchy Riso, dude. Dude, you're going to love this one. Oh, my God, he's hilarious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fucking love that Patchy Riso, dude. I'm framing that bad boy. He's a sick Pokemon, dude. Like and run. Oh, like and run. Dude, I gotta get myself a fucking shiny Charizard, man. I'm running out of packs. Dude, I got four packs left in this box. And then one more box. Like, what the hell, dude? I need to get more GX Ultra Shinies. That's what that's what really needs to happen. One, two, three. Here we go. Uh, blue stuff. What the fuck? He's a lawnmower? Ah, uh, this is my favorite one. Look at how, look at how, like, juicy he is, man. He's ra rotund. We got a Sneasel. This is our first fucking Leafy on, or whatever the fuck that thing's name is. Se second Dunsparce! That means this is a good pack. Oh, shit! We got a shiny Gir Gir Giratina. It's a shiny Garchomp, dude. That's fucking sick. I don't even think I have the Hidden Fates version of this. This is rules. <laughs> we got this shit, Turketry or whatever the fuck it's called. We got another Ultra Prism Shaman and oh my god. Here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. And here I go again on my own. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you get a GX in every fucking pack. I have like four of those. I could do one for the bit. <laughs> what if I sliced up this shiny Charizard? What would you do then? I would I would love to see what chat does if I started slicing up the shiny Charizard. That would fucking rule. That would be legendary, dude. Alright. Let's open up these last three packs, huh? And then another box! Ha ha! Here I go again on my own! You like how I went down like a, like a, a key? Did a key change on that? One, two, three. That's a frying pan. Which obviously is the best card in the entire set. You see, because it's a uh, it's a frying pan. There's Rodham. There's a girl with toilet paper hair. Torchic, whatever. Raikou already have it. Oranguru already have it. Mars Shadow already have it. And this already have it. I already have all four of these cards. I didn't even sleeve the other shinies because I sliced up a card. Here we go, Raikou. Lame, already have it. This, already have it. There you go, Marshadow, shiny Marshadow, I guess. I don't know, I don't care. Alolan, whatever. What that neck do? <laughs> my my worst Max Mofo impression of all time. We got Turkazirka Tree. We got... Motherfucking shiny Giratina. <laughs> Shaman. Why does everyone keep saying Garchomp? What the fuck is a Garchomp? I don't understand. Every time I talk about Giratina, everyone says Garchomp. It's like, this doesn't even make sense. Does not make sense to me at all. What is this? Metal Baby. We got Guzma. We got Malamar. This thing. Execute. And then we got Hoopa, baby. Beautiful. Already have it, though. We have the fucking uh, the Horny Bug or whatever. And Reshiram. And I have already have them all. I have them all. It doesn't matter. I have them all. And I'll just put them in a sleeve and put them on a stack and throw them in a closet and never talk to them ever again.
This is the only joy you'll ever get in life, Pokemon cards. Enjoy it. This is fleeting. Your life is over after this. It'll be in a stale cardboard box with a fucking demoisturizing packet in it for eternity. <laughs> Here I go again. I hope I, ho I hope I pull another Giratina. One, two, three. One, two, three. Deancey. Fancy Deancey, dude. We got fucking Bamboozle. We got Tepu Lele again, and I have all of them. I have every single one of these. I have every single one of these cards. Uh, I don't know why I do this anymore! What's the point? I ask you. What is the point? There's no point to this anymore. You pull cardboard that shines and shimmers, but none of it matters. In the end, everything ends up like this. That's why I do this, to remind you of our fleeting mortality. No matter how hard you sleeve and PSA grade Shattered Glass Diglett, Shattered Glass Diglett will end up like this, floating around space for all eternity. Alright, let's open another box. Slice this fucker up. Oh! One, two! Sorry, I didn't change the camera back. Here we go, ten pa ten Ten packs. <laughs> Alright. Fucking losing my mind, alright? Here I cut the packs on my own. Going down the only roans I ever known. There's a mountain. It's a fucking mountain. There's a snake. Samurai Jack, Gibble, Whoople. All right, here's here's something I don't understand. What's the deal with this guy? Every time Zygarde shows up, it's like he's he's a worm one second, and then he's a fucking mech the other second. I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Can someone explain this to me? And we got fucking Empire State Building and Mag Cargo, all right? Nice. Wait a second. Nobody ever explains it to me. Every time I ask f about this Zygarde th character, nobody ever... I just don't understand. I'm trying to understand, but nobody wants to help me. So, whatever, man. It's fine. I just... Apparently, everyone just hates me. So... <sighs> Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can, like... Oh, that was sick! Oh, oh, that sucked. That's cool though. I got a little, I got a little slice in it. Don't worry, I know where my fingers are. Oh, that was close. Ooh, ooh! Very nice, very nice. Let's see if I can. Ha! Ooh, that's cool. Nice, dude! Alright, that was fun. To the graveyard you go, Lunala. To the graveyard you go, and you shall stay forever. The Lunala pile grows, and my heart grows smaller as the day goes on. Beautiful. Into the trash. One, two, three. These cards are very curled already. These cards are very curled. I don't know what's going on with these uh, ultra shiny packs, but they're very curled. We got a little break scene in my life. Let me zoom in on this thing that's for my wife. A little bit of goo goo for my dad. A little bit of puzzle box for my dad. Dun, 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 the puzzle box, da, 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 the foxy fire, da, 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 the smelly guy, da, da, da. Goo frog. 
Go frog yourself, dude. Just go frog yourself, man. One, two. Cut it open, take the cards out, flip it, stick it, flip it over, flip it, stick it, seal it in a bar. We got the lawnmower, dude. It's my favorite. We got literally the galaxy. I don't, I, it's just space. That's all it is. And we got another frying pan, so you know this is a good, is a good, good pack. We got a Dunsparce, too, so what the fuck? We got hit after hit here. Solgaleo, Zororo, and then this thing. I don't, I, it's like, what does it even matter? What does any of this mean? I'm trying to bend this back, so it's not so curled. Uh, what does any of this mean, even? What's the point? Are we here to love? Are we here to to help each other? Are we here to destroy ourselves? Are we just one big experiment by like a like a like a Pr Prometheus style like proto race? And if that's the case, then who made them? Who made the proto race? That's what I want to know. So in the end, all we ever have is questions. Maybe that's the point of life. Maybe we... Maybe we just are here to questions. We are here to questions. Metal Baby. Oh shit, would you look at that? That's a motherfucking secret rare shiny ho ho right there. Don't even get me started on this shit! It's a super secret rare! Shh! Don't tell anybody! It's it's by five band graphics. Fuck yeah, dude. Very nice. Fire chicken, Zerky tree. Look at this. I got two bullshit cards, one after another. Look at this. Shiny ho ho. -oh. Love it. Love to see it. Beautiful fucking card. I love this. That was worth it. But you know what? I want the shiny Charizard. Daddy, can I get the shiny Charizard from the school? No, son. It's too expensive. But, Daddy, I need the shiny Charizard. All the kids have shiny Charizards, and I want one. But, Daddy... Shut up. I don't want to hear another word about the shiny Charizard. You're going to take your canopy, and you're going to like it, son. Oh, but I got a shiny Malamar. Daddy, I got a shiny Malamar. Oh, I wish you were in a heat ran in this fucking thing. Listen, everybody, I want you to know, everyone who is positing, okay, everyone who is positing that each pack gets a shattered glass card, you're wrong. I didn't pull a single shattered glass in this. But I pulled a shiny mail of my son. All right. I'm not cutting the hoe, -oh, dude. Don't talk to me about cutting the hoe. -oh. If you talk about cutting the hoe, -oh, I'll ban you. I do want to. I'm so tempted to cut this motherfucker, though. Like, what even is this? Who cares? Nobody cares about that creature. Not a single person. There's nobody here or anywhere else who's like, this fucker is my favorite Pokemon. Nobody. And if you are saying it in the chat, you're lying. One, two, three. Rotom. Energy. Quagsire. Whatever the fuck. Bulbous. Oh man, you're not gonna believe the next card, dude. It is out of this world. Guzma Lord. Guz Lord. Because I saw a Guzma card. Dude, we got a Giratina, dude! Nice! Very nice Giratina. Fucking fantastic Giratina. One of my favorite Pokemon. Evolves from Jibble. Ooh, Rayquaza. Very nice. And then a mountain. <laughs> Dude, fucking nice Giratina, man. We got a Guzzlord. We got a Rayquanzer. Rayquanzer. And a Mount Mountain. <laughs> it's just a mountain, dude. Who cares? And snip, snip, snip. Open up the bip. Throw it in the kip. And then here we go. 
We got a motherfucking oven over here. Everybody, we got an oven. I think we can all go home now. Well, a gun and a leaf blower, a fucking, like, like, what is this? Like a one-night stand with a sneezel? This is really upsetting looking. <laughs> Alright. Zororo. Oh, this is the first time I've ever pulled this. What the hell? I've opened five boxes and this is my first time pulling a Hydragon? Deancey! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I don't have... To be honest with you, and we got a shiny one. That's cute. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. To be perfectly honest with you, this one doesn't bother me. This one doesn't bother me as much because it's like it's like a it's like a dragon hornet or something. So it's like, oh, it's a thing. That's fine. It's not just shapes. It's like shapes that form like a dragon hornet thing. I don't know. I don't have any problem with that one. It still looks dumb, but it's fine. This is a fucking dra it's a dragon with heads for arms. Great. It's awesome. Throw it in the Pokemon pile. What is this? It's obviously like a rock thing with jewels. Great. Throw it in the pile. Even though the diamonds are just shapes, at least it's so clear that it, they're fucking diamonds. What is this? Oh, it's like a, it's a, like, like a fox thing or something. I don't know. Throw it in the pile. It's great. All Pokemon are great. But when you fucking give me a Pokemon where it's just shapes, it's stupid. One, two, three. Look, watch. Cartana. It's like paper, right? It's like a folded paper. That's awesome. Very creative. Cool. Even though, and listen, Cartana is just shapes, but it's a thing. It has a purpose. It's like a wrapped up paper gift that they give in Japan. That's a thing that really exists. It's cool. We got a girl on a stretcher. Diglett. He's like a little fucking underground worm. Great. Love him. Heat more. He's like an anteater or something. Great. Love him. Obama Snow. Uh, to be honest, I'm not so sure, but he's a creature with a tail and arms. So there you go. Mars Shadow. It's like a little ghost thing that's probably based on some mythical Japanese whatever. Zygarde. Well, to be honest, I have no idea what Zy what's going on with Zygarde. Sometimes it's like a tapeworm and sometimes it's a robot. And nobody ever tells me what the deal is with that. And then we got Galassio Pete. He's clearly like a roly poly bug. And fucking Malamar is a squid. So, those are great. Those are great. Great Pokemon. Great fun Pokemon. I like them all. Except for this one. I don't understand it and I never will. Doesn't make any fucking sense. I think the Zygarde joke is gonna get like, like triple meta soon. Like, there's gonna be a couple more episodes of Shuffle Master where like, the Zygarde joke is just gonna be like, people ironically, ironically explaining what a Zygarde is. It's a Pseudo Wudo! Listen to me! Pseudo Wudo is a fake tree! Great Pokemon! Fun, interesting, Marowak is a little dinosaur boy wearing a fucking skull head. Great, wonderful, there's a person, I don't know what the fuck that is. Magneton, they're magnets! Neat! Cosmog, it's like a, it's like a fucking nebula, cool! A fox, neat! Some kind of dog, saber tooth dog creature. Great, love it. Even Buzz Swole, all right, if he's an ultra beast, He's a fucking swole ass bug! Done. Easy. What the fuck is this?! It's just shapes. This one is probably on the lower end of my hate list. Because it's like a dragon or something. It's got legs and a tail and wings or whatever. But it's just fucking shapes. And then Satan's asshole, Shattered Foil. I don't want to sleeve it. But I'm gonna. Why can't they all be like Buzzswole? Why can't they just be swole bugs? All of them. 
You get buzz swole, and then like flap swole, and then like bite swole, and then like skitter 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 swole. This is it. This is the last pack. I'm actually kind of upset about this. I'm gonna throw that away. We got a Swablu. Swablu! He's a bird that's stuck in the clouds! Look at this. It's a puzzle box or whatever. I don't know. Turtonator! He's a fucking one of those turtles that has the weird nose! Done! Swablu! It's a bird that's stuck in the clouds! Wonderful! They go together because birds fly! Fucking Giratuna! It's. <laughs> He's a dragon with missiles on his head. Squid? Holy shit, this is awesome. All right, I'll take it. Uh, uh, it's like a bug. <laughs> Manaphy. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what, what the fuck Manaphy is. It's like a drop of goo. I don't know. It's cute, though. And then... Lock and rock! He's a dog. It's a dog. And that's it, man. That's, that's all we got. We got this thing. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's cool, right? Hey, at least they, like, number the Japanese cards nowadays. That's nice. They used to number them, but they didn't make sense. They would just be numbers, and they didn't make sense. Like, they literally didn't make sense. They would be like 245s, and you're like, what the fuck is this? Holy shit, this stack is heavy as hell. Oh my god. This, okay, so this is all of the foils. This weighs like a thousand pounds. Holy shit. Amazing. Like and rock. All right, we did it. And there they are. It's, that was easy, right? It's like cards, foil cards. Like, that was the most succinct opening I've ever had. Ignore this. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. So, we did it. We opened up GX Ultra Shiny. That was fun. That was a good time. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I guess I could open up some fucking Hidden Fates. Just a couple. Right? Hidden Poots. <laughs> Hidden poots! Here we go. Let's see if we can get a Charizard from these. This is a Burning Shadows box, but Hidden Fates are in it. How about, let's say, what, how about we go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's open up 10 Hidden Fates packs, huh? How about that? 10 Hidden Fates. I got like a billion. I have like a thousand. Hidden, I'm making Hidden Fates my thing. That's my thing. I have so many fucking Hidden Fates packs. It's unreal. Here we go. Pack number one. Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. Charizard. Charizard. Oh, you want it? You want the... Here you go. Boom. Forgot that was a thing, didn't you? One, two, three. Blue. Here we go. Graveler, Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Foil, Clefable, and a Kangaskhan. All right. It's fine. I guess. It's not a fucking Charizard. It's not, not a shiny ass Charizard with fucking dangly ass whatevers. There you go. There's, a, there's your code. Enjoy it. Eat it if you want. I don't care. Make it with mashed potatoes and green beans. Blue? No. Farfetch'd, Cerulean, Pewter, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck. I don't reckon. Oh! And a Lapras. Look at this fucking Eevee, dude! So cute! Shiny ass motherfucking Eevee. Uh, the yellow looks so dumb. I'm just gonna say it out loud, man. The yellow looks so dumb, and everyone knows it. If anybody wants to justify the yellow, just hit me up at I don't give a shit at who the fuck cares .com, Cause the yellow looks dumb. They need to change it, man. They need to change it. Just like they need to change Zygarde, because I don't know what the fuck is going on with Zygarde. I have no idea. Sometimes it's a tapeworm. And so... 
right. Here we go. Boom, there's your code. One, two, three. Blue. Ah! Scyther, Sabrina's, Voltor, Pikachu, coughing. Oh, look at that, baby. That's very nice. And Clefable. I'm getting some pretty sick pulls right now. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, man. These are this is a really nice fucking pull right here. Alright. Lycan rock. Oh, Lycan rock. Just fucking tear it open. Who cares? Nobody gives a shit about hidden fates anymore. Broken. Retired. There it is. Gone. It's done. You can't even see it anymore. Blue. Oh, so close. It's kind of blue. Jinx and Magmar and Ekans and Cubone and oh my god! What the fuck, dude? Very nice Umbreon. Shiny Umbreon. This is one of the top tier fucking pulls right here. That is fantastic. Unreal. And Jesse and James foil, which is fun. Dude, wow. Wow. I'm getting like all the evolutions here. I'm getting this graded. <laughs> I don't care about you. <laughs> I'm getting this graded, baby. See, Umbreon I can understand because it's like a... What the fuck is Eevee supposed to be? Like a dog or... Like a, like a bunny or... What the fuck is Eevee? Cat, cat fox? Dog? Dog fox? I don't know. There you go. It's gone forever. Blue. <sighs> Jesus. Magmar, Charmeleon, these things, I don't care. We got the fucking <gasps> Ekans, <laughs> Pikachu. Oh my god, very nice. Fucking shiny Scyther. See, this is what I'm talking about. These are the pulls that I want. GX Ultra Shiny can suck my ween, dude. Because we're getting fucking shiny Scyther. Look at this. That's our like third shiny in four packs. This is absurd. Do 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 do. Ah, there's your code. Flip it over, flip it over. Blue. God damn it. Where's the Charizard? We ready? Ready to pull the Charizard? Here it comes. Boom! Shiny Voltorb! I don't have that. Oh, that's sick. Look at. Are you kidding me with how many fucking shinies I'm pulling right now? This is. Like, to recap. Real quick, shiny Voltorb, shiny Scyther, shiny Umbreon, shiny Energy, shiny Eevee. Like, what the fuck? GX Ultra Shiny, you need to get your shit together. This is out of this world right now. Ah! Pull. Throw. Next. Uh-oh. Well, they're all like that. Here we go. Boom. Done. One, two, three. Uh, blue. No. Here comes the Charizard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Charizard. Farfetched. And oh, what? <laughs> well, not exactly what I was hoping for, but. <laughs> I don't. I don't have this one. This is. I. I don't have this Charizard. So there we go. Great. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, gods of polls. Uh, I mean, what I meant to say was... Here comes the shiny Charizard, alright? Blue. Oh, Jesus. Here comes the shiny Charizard. One, two, boom! Shiny Mewtwo! What the fuck?! I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening right now. This is... This is out of control. I have no clue how this is happening. Every single one of these These are... By the way, and because now that we're opening them and they're fucking legendary packs, I will embarrassingly admit that I bought these loose. These are not packs that I got from sets. These are loose packs I bought from some seller who's just like, yeah, fucking 60 Hidden Fates packs, whatever. And I was like, alright, fine. 60 Hidden Fates packs, I'll trust you. And they're- they're stacked! 
Oh, uh, blue. Oh my god, I did it. Finally. Pokemon Center Lady. Sabrina. D -d 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 what shiny are we pulling now? We got a Clefairy and a Zapdos. Okay, our first dud pack. Our very first dud pack. How... How... What an honor. Here we go, one more. Throw it in the trash. I'm the trash man. I come in, I throw trash all over, all over the ring. Red. There was another blue. Should have just called blue. Should have been consistent. I don't know why I wasn't. Ekans, Paris, Charmander, and Ekans, and a Golem. Whoa, what a fucking dud that was. Jesus Christ. Unreal dud with that one. All right, five more. <laughs> right? Right? After that that kind of pull, pullage, five more. Just, like, just five more. Here we go. Hidden Fates, number one. Uh, uh. Throw it in. Whoops. Ah, fuck. There you go. It's gone. Leave it. Uh, purple. Oh, so close. Charmeleon. Shiny Sabrina. Clefable. Lame. Lame. Next. Pack number two of five. Ah. 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 No. Here. One, two, three. Red. Here comes the shiny Charizard. You ready for this? Shiny Charizard. Fuck! Next pack. Here's the shiny Charizard. Shiny, shiny Charizard. Boom. One, two, three. Blue. Oh, don't, this is not for you. Jinx, 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 Shiny Charizard, Shiny Charizard, Magmar, Onyx! You have the fucking audacity to give me a fucking Onyx? Unbelievable. The last one I saw of you, Onyx, I cut. I cut you. All right, there. Boom. One, two, three, to the front. Red, that's a blue. Shiny Charizard, shiny Charizard! Fuck! How many goddamn Articuno Zapdos mole traces do I have? 3,000? 300,000? Here it is, shiny Charizard. We're done. We're done, this is the last one. Shiny Charizard to end the night. Shiny Charizard to end the night, baby. One, two, three, there you go, it's done. It has been done, it has begun, two. Why did I say two? Two doesn't mean anything. Why did I say two? Shiny NK, Jesse and James. That was the pack that I decided to go out on. That was it. Shiny NK and Jesse and James. My 700th Jesse and James. And I will never cut this because I love them. I wish they were my parents. I have so much energy! <laughs> Why did I, d I have to clean this up now? What a fool I was. Anyway, congratulations to everyone who came to the stream to enjoy me opening cards. You all did great. You all did fantastic. You are troopers. Beautiful VR troopers. We are VR troopers. Do you remember that show? Do you remember it? VR troopers? It was like the third rate Power Rangers. Second rate Power Rangers was Beetleborgs, which actually had a weirdly high budget. I don't know what the deal is with that. Remember Flapper? What was that his name? Flapper from Beetleborgs? 
Anyway, we got some super chats to get through. And then we'll call it a night, huh? Oh my god, everybody. What the fuck? You you so many super chats. You're all beautiful. Willie Brad just pulled a foil fetch from a Zen collector's pack. Fucking nice, dude. Fucking nice. He's talking about Zendikar. Zendikar Rising. It's a Magic the Gathering thing. It's a collector's booster. You can get fetch lands. Vish Vishna Azrak. Hi, always good to see your lives. By the way, about the Carbuncle bit earlier, I found out it's the creature on one of my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Ruby Carbuncle, and I didn't know about it. It's the cutest shit ever. That's adorable, and I love it. Don't let it eat itself. Chris V, hey Lemon and Bill, my girlfriend loves y'all. Oh, what happened to the camera? Oh, hey, what's going on? I, yeah, it, uh, uh, thank you for that. Yeah, thanks a lot. I always love hearing when girls like me. Well, uh, girls really like you. I mean, you're like the lemon. And what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, girls don't like the bullets. Mostly just guys like the bullets. And, you know, you're, you're, you're more feminine because you, you got the fruit thing going on. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, I've seen more guys like bullets than girls. That's kind of fucked up of you to say. Well, jeez, what's your language? Lemon, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't have le I keep forgetting to open Lemon and Bill, that's why. I anyway. Uh, Tekaleth, Zygarde, it's just shapes all the way down. Thank you. Somebody finally explained Zygarde to me. GD Jared Aqua, me again. Can you shout out my friends B, Val, Noel, James, and Kel? Shout out to B, Val, Noel, James, and Kel. They love you lots. Also, where do I send the round boy to? Give P.O. Box, please. P.O. Box address is in the About page of this YouTube page. Brandon Rose, what's up? It was really cool seeing you on A Drive stream earlier this week. Yeah, that was fun. Speaking of which, would you ever try shiny hunting? You mean an actual Pokemon game? No. No. I used to, when I was really into competitive Pokemon, I used to like IV, EV train and like IV breed and stuff. And I don't have that kind of time anymore, man. I don't have that kind of time. Loose cannon cop. It was fun, though, I will say. It was very relaxing to go back and forth on the bicycle over and over again to hatch the eggs and stuff. It was, it was good times. Loose cannon cop on the edge. Thank you. <laughs> it's a funny name. Jacob Esock. I put on a hel... <laughs> Here we go. I put on a helmet, and my hiner is aimed towards a window. All you got to do is pull that sticky, shiny, thicky, baby boy. So flat, so wide... So stinkum. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob Isak. Lane O'Brien. <laughs> hey, Aaron, long time viewer here. You got me through some pretty hard times. My roomie Dave is having some pretty hard ones too right now. Would you be able to give him a few words of encouragement? We're all going through hard times, man. Every single one of us on this fucking planet is going through hard times. This is a shitty time. A global Backstreet Boys reunion tour. And... I gotta tell you, man, it's gonna get better. Don't worry about it. We just get through this together, it'll be great. Fenton O'Carroll, I admire your steez. You are a pure treasure. Shaped my humor as an individual. Shout out to Nay Nay the Big Gay Beautiful Bear. Oh shit, hold on. I gotta send a text. It's always weird to me when like services text you, like like a shipping service. They just like they text you and they're like, "You're it's coming tomorrow." And I'm like, "What do you? How do you have my phone number?" <laughs> Liz Orchid, hey Aaron, love your positivity. My friend just released their indie game about ADHD. Can you give them some love and encouragement? I would love to, but I don't know the name of the person who made it or the indie game. Google indie game about ADHD. Hopefully there's another super chat that explains it. Uh, zero hugs. Back when Magic Origins came out at the pre-release, I opened a stamped Nissa and literally squealed like a girl and everyone in the shop heard me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bill, Brian Milhorn. Aaron, I just found a hollow base set Charizard in my childhood binder. What do I do, Shuffle Master? You send it to P.O. Box. No, just kidding. But if you really want to send it to me. Uh, 
You fucking sleeve it, dude. Sleeve it and grade it, baby. R9 beats. Or put it in a deck and play with it. R9 beats. Man, who cares about the Pokemon's packs? Where are the train reviews, Aaron? I wish, man. I fucking wish. Grem. Do you have any favorite characters from Hades? My favorite is Nyx or Artemis. I have not played Hades. I have heard it's very good, and I need to play it at some point. Loose Cannon on the Edge. Sup? Sup, pimp? Will you play Link's Awakening, or will Dan? Dan will play Link's Awakening. He had a lot of fun playing Link Between Worlds, and I think he would like to play Link, Link's Awakening. Ar Archivista Babblefish. Thanks, as always, for your stream, Aaron. I love your hate for transdimensional Pokemon. Will you tell my husband, Zach, he is wonderful? Cats are watching, too. Shout out to Zach. He's wonderful. Oh, fuck. I'm EG. Hope you have a lovely week. I always love watching your streams. Also loved seeing you on Ross's proxy chat among us. Nogla and you were hilarious. That fucking guy cracks me up, man. Nogla is hysterical. When he fucking comes up with his with his Irish ass accent. He's just, come over here. I'm selling crock. <laughs> crack cocaine over here. <laughs> no, don't worry. We're doing something really illegal. <laughs> Fucking love Nogla. It was great. Emulated me. I'll be honest, Aaron, you are the first, wait. Yes, I, yes. Okay, great. I answered everything. Uh, emulated me. I'll be honest, Aaron, you're the first person to get me to appreciate non-story based games and your OOT video was a big part of it. Well, that's good, man. Thank you. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's funny because that's another reason why I don't, it's not just the hate, the reason why I don't talk about games as much as I do used to. It's not just the hate, it's also the love. You know, I don't, Ocarina of Time is a beloved game, and I grew up on it. I played the shit out of that game. I played it tons of times when I was a kid. Um... So, part of, like, criticizing a game like that, you know, that, that you're, you're treading on that water, right? People fucking love that game. It's not like I'm going to change whether or not they love it, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel bad about, about talking about games that people obviously adore. And then other times I'm like, fuck that. I'm going to shit on this game. So <laughs> Diamond dude, I'm a man. There's two wolves inside me. Which one do I feed? Diamond Dude 42, I respect your Zelda vid, even though I disagree. That's great. I appreciate that. Dr. Gregarious, yes, just what I need after a hard week flying solo, the CVS farm since my tech bought tickets. Oh, God, that sucks. My wife blesses your polls, and why did the Scarecrow get a promotion? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> you have to stop. It's, it's over. That bit's over. It's done. It's done. It's, it's got to be over. It can't keep going on, can it? Loose Cannon Cop on the Edge. Any new ideas on possible future RPGs card game? Uh, haven't really delved into it yet. I know you said you wanted to be enduring. With Backstreet Boys Tour, an online version would be great also. Lol. Yeah, well, I don't have that much money. Uh, Snowflake Grove. Please play Bayonetta on Grumps. Um, I've thought about it. Jessica Stout, hey Aaron, if you guys play Dongan Ronpa 2, can you call the first episode Mamma Mia? Here we go again. I can't stop thinking about it. Love you. It's a great idea. Uh, stream Nerds, any advice for a new full time content creator? Um, enjoy it. Don't do it. Don't do anything for the views. There's things you can do to optimize your videos, right? Thumbnail stuff, title stuff, whatever. Do what makes you happy. Because the moment you start playing games and performing in a way that you think is going to get more views. That's bullshit. Don't do that. Just do what you do. Create your own voice. And then optimize the shit out of it! Christy, I don't know anything about these cards, but I'll be here for whatever you make. Also tennis. Thank you. I appreciate that. Corinne Romano. Loving these streams. I have a Neo Destiny Hollow Shining Charizard. Jesus Christ. Nice. And a Japanese Blaine's Charizard I want to sell. Is it worth it to get them graded? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Those particular cards, yes. They are, it's very worth it to get those graded, particularly the Shining Charizard. That's a very expensive card, and you will increase the price of it by a significant amount if you get it graded. So, yes. The Blaine's Charizard, not as much. That's not as huge of a card, 
especially the Japanese one. Um, but get them both graded. Yeah. Is it good to grade any card or only rare cards? Um, well, the thing is, grading is expensive and it takes a long time. Um, so it's like obviously you wouldn't want a regular Mew card graded because you're probably going to pay more than the card's worth. Um, but and and plus people aren't like looking for those cards. You know, they're not hard to get. Uh, but if you get a Charizard from some set or whatever. Sorry, I'm clicking shit in the fucking mic. No, oops. Um, it significantly raises the price and people seek out those cards. So if you have a Charizard, get it graded. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sienna Whaley, LOL, didn't mean to make you have an existential crisis, but your stream is helping with nerves, so thanks. Hope you get a Charizard, Shuffle Master. Thanks, man. I did get a Charizard. <laughs> Michael Pfeffer. Zygarde has multiple forms. His 1% form is a hop is a hoopter. His 50% form is a hanging dongle. And his complete form is a shmagegi. Hope that helps. You've really cleared things up for me, Michael Pfeffer. But I still don't understand what a Zygarde is. <laughs> That's funny. Mouth bizarre. Serious question. I enjoy making things for people and have made things for YouTubers. They have all they have all said yes, and they appreciate the gifts. But I don't know if I am reading it wrong. But people seem disinterested, but saying yes to appease their community. Your opinion? Don't want to waste my effort. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Like, just make your art, man, and like send it to whoever you want to send it to. I I mean. Here's here's the thing I will say, and this is kind of unrelated to what you're saying, but like it just reminds me because it's sort of it's kind of related. Um, the the stuff that like because this is live, right? And I'm in front of thousands of people right now saying things, so I'm trying to like keep it fun and it's jokey and it's you know and I ah whoa I'm mad at fucking Zygarde or whatever. Um, but it's it's the pe the people who show up and they like like force some kind of thing on you, like force some kind of altruism or something where it's like, Hey, why don't you donate 50% of your earnings to something? And it's like, then you're kind of cornered on, cause it's like, because I don't, I don't do that, but it makes you kind of look like a dick to, it, I, I don't like, I hate that shit. So if, if that's at all related to what you're saying, don't do that. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Uh, but if it's like, you know, it's like a gift or a piece of art or something like, yeah, man, fucking be creative, be fun, make your own shit and send it to whoever you think will appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I love getting art and stuff. I think it's great. So just do you, man. Just do you. Uh, Jessica Stout. Hey, Aaron, did you hear about Logan Paul losing, like, 200,000 cards of fake Pokemon cards? Yes, and I haven't stopped hearing about it. Every single time now I tweet about opening Pokemon cards, I get comments from people saying, Did you buy it from a bald guy? Because he's a scammer! And I'm like, No, I didn't buy it from the bald guy. <laughs> like, why would I do that? It's everywhere! There's, like, hundreds of videos with millions of views about this fucking guy. Nobody's buying cards from this guy anymore. It's, it's just... Yes, I know about this guy. I don't... I'm never gonna buy cards from this dude. He's got a really shiny head. <laughs> Loose cannon cop on the edge. Do you have interest in Legend of the Five Rings CCG? I don't know what that is. I've just discovered it and looking everywhere to play online without luck. I loved the Final Fantasy. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Sounds cool, though. It's a great name. Jessica Stout. I triple dog dare you to rip up the shiny Charizard. Do it. I dare you. I don't have it. I didn't pull it. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> Malfazar. Also, Super Chat sucks for serious questions. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah. That's the problem, though, with, with like streaming platforms at this sort of size, right? Like, I think I think people who get to a certain size, you know, like... 
thousands of concurrents or whatever, they sort of switch over to like a subscriber model because it's, I mean, I've probably been talking to Super Chat for half the stream at least. And that's like, you know, that's almost two hours of talking to Super Chat, right? Of not opening Pokemon cards. Um, which I don't mind. I like doing it. Uh, but like, there comes a point where there's so many Super Chats, like I don't have any time to open cards. Uh, maybe that point will never come, but I can feel it coming. Uh, and then I, I don't know what to do about that. I guess I would try to switch over to a subscriber model, but people want to talk, and I want to talk to them. So that's how it goes, baby. Origami Griffin. Hey, Aaron. Yes, okay, I got that right. Origami Griffin. Hey, Aaron, have you heard of a mobile game called to Tomb Toad? It's a new 8-bit puzzler with a great chiptune soundtrack. I think you'll like it. That sounds cool. I love 8-bit aesthetic games. Uh, Lord Kada. Zygarde has four forms. One baby, two Lycanroc, three Gyarados, and four the wacky world of Minigolf starring Eugene Levy. Thank you. Finally someone clears it up. Gonax VA. Great pulls, Aaron. Love watching you high as fuck. <laughs> you know, I'm really honored that you got high and decided to tune into my stream. Because there's so many other things, awesome things that you could tune into while you're high. And the fact that you're tuning into me and I'm entering your brain right now is great. Cake Wallaby. Love you, man, but you're too existential and sassy for me today. That's okay, man. Sometimes life just be like that. Peanut Butter. We're back on Pokemon. Hell yeah, dude. Love you. Yeah, I try to do Pokemon like once a week now. It's the stuff that people want the most. Um, magic is whatever it is. And I think random stuff people seem to really like. The Animal Crossing one, people are really into that. So I'm still feeling it out. Either way, I'm going to open up whatever I fucking want to open up at the end of the day, because love magic, even though it doesn't get a whole lot of views. Uh, Brandon Andres. Zygarde. Multiple sentient cells that Voltron up. I don't understand. I wish someone would explain Zygarde to me. It, he really doesn't make any sense. Devin Marshall Miller. Hey, Aaron, just wanted to let you know I bought my first Champion's Path ETB and pulled both the shiny Charizard V and rainbow rare Charizard. Love you. Goddamn. Enjoy that win. That is a high, that is a dragon you will be chasing for the rest of your days. Tabitha Marrera, wearing some Shuffle Master merch while watching the Ultimate Shuffle Master. Thank you, Tabitha. Ariel Guthrie, trying to figure out what a Zygarde is, you know, to be helpful. No one is telling me either. Frankly, it's downright hurtful. I know, it's like nobody knows what the fuck this thing is, and they don't want to tell, it's, it's, they're gatekeeping information as far as I know. Spirit Safe, Aaron, I know you like to cook. You are planning on making any special dishes this holiday season. Love you and your streams. The goldfish say hello. Hello, goldfish. Um, not special dishes, just traditional shit. I think we get like we're getting like a ham or something. Gonax VA. All those shinings pull was hype as fuck. Yeah, I know it was pretty dope. Right at the end, those hidden face packs really like pulled it pulled it together. <laughs> uh, God, where was I? Uh, Binks, Binks. Binksuno Sake. I haven't collected Pokemon cards in 10 plus years. What's the best place to start up again? Uh, just whatever interests you, you know? I mean, just go to a go to a card shop and buy some cards. It's all the same. Honestly. Uh, it's all the same. You get, it's like, oh, I pulled a Mew, you know? Like, how many Mews are there? There's a lot. Uh, just, get, just get a pack of cards and Check it out. Vivid Voltage is fun. It's the latest set. You'll probably be able to find it. Um, just have some fun, man. Devin Kratt McDonald. Ocarina of Time is a perfect game according to me. Air Enhance In. <laughs> Air Enhance In. Wow. I never knew that my name was also Air Enhance In. Uh, yes, a lot of people consider Ocarina of Time to be a perfect game. I personally do not. I respect that opinion. Inside you, hey, what's your favorite Gundam? I got back into building and customizing Gundam models when I was stationed in Japan and have ideas for a grunt merge. Um, a grunt mech. Oh. Uh, my favorite Gundam? It's probably the original, man. Like, it's so dope. I had a thing for um, Quartz, I think it was called. It has, like, a big green gem in its chest and has, like, a long sword. Quartz, I think it was called. Gundam Quartz, maybe something like that. Either way, I thought it, I thought it looked dope. But the classic Gundam. 
The original Gundam is the is the jam. Uh, Sassy Squatch. How's it going, dude? Thanks for being awesome. You have helped me get through the Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Get be get being great. <laughs> Thanks, man. How's it going, dude? Uh, Liz Orchid. They're Gav Seraphin, and the game is Deficit. Okay. Um, shout out to... Excuse me. Shout out to Gav Seraphin with that indie game Deficit. It's a game about ADHD, so go check it out if you have ADHD or want... I'm assuming to know what it's like to have ADHD. Either way, having ADHD sucks, and I think I'm going to go back on medication soon. Attack of the Dodo. Could you give a shout-out to my beautiful girlfriend, Jenna? She's opening Commander Legends booster collector's boosters and having a blast. What's up, Jenna? I hope you pull a really good card. I hope you pull a foil, extended art, jeweled lotus, or mana drain. The more enduring card. Grem. Dude, Hades is incredible, but it takes a lot of time. But Nyx is absolutely goth wife. You should look her, you gotta look her up. Oh man, I'm sure I'll fall in love the moment I play that game and see her. If she's the, she's the goth girl. Happy little hero clicks. Hey, bub. Hey, bub. Bra- Braden Martin. Love that shirt with the hole for breathability. It's like, you know, it's like wear and tear kind of thing. It's cool. Dead and loving it. Check it out. PsychicCircleOddities.com. I think this shirt's sold out, but um, she has a lot of other really great stuff in her store. Nico Tetrox, are you a fan of Fleetwood Mac? I'm loving it all. Of course, man. I mean, I would say I'm more a Stevie Nicks fan than anything, but um, Fleetwood Mac is dope. Malfazar, thanks a lot, man. That really helps. You got it, pal. Raz McBerry, how's it going, dude? Want to buy some Pokemon cards? No, I don't. Just kidding. Yes. Miranova, 23, who's that Pokemon? Just a, just a sh- oh, there's, it's right here. Just a shipsu, sh- shipsu, just a shipsu. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Malfazar, oh, and your nibbler's going in the mail tomorrow. Fuck yeah, dude! That's exciting. If you were asking about the nibbler, I'm excited about that. So don't even think for a second that I'm not excited about this fucking nibbler, because that's exciting as shit. I'm stoked for that. Jessica Stout, there are two wolves inside you. One is Lemon, the other is Bill. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. They're both named Toby. Big Mac Gaming. Hey, Aaron, love all the stuff you and Dan and I just want... Love all the stuff you and Dan... do, I'm assuming... And just wanted to let you know how much Grumps has helped me for the past two years with my overall well-being. Love you, bro. Keep it up. Thank you, Big Mac Gaming. I love the name. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. That's very sweet. Uh, Willie Brad. Watch the new Red Letter Media vid yet? Loved it. Is there a new Plinket review? Because I watched Half in the Bag pretty frequently. Ace of Props. Got my GG Gashbon box today and it made me so happy. Now I've got a GG shirt for every day of the week. And you bet your sweet butt I'll wear it all. Thank you, Ace of Props. That's very sweet. I really appreciate that. Uh, Chris V, Shuffle Master Help. Can't think of a gift I want for Christmas. The only thing I can think of is if there was an awesome pin and sticker <laughs> inspired by 8-bit and 16-bit JRPGs. If only there was one such a thing. Well, there is such a thing, Chris V. It's called RPGs. You can grab them at RPGs.com or GameGrumps.com slash merch. It's my pin collection. I made it. I drew all the things. I drew the wrapper. I drew the back. I drew the pins. I designed it all. The only thing I didn't draw was the UPC code. Because they gave, they, the, the organization of UPC codes, they're called the GS1, I believe. They gave me that. And they drew that. But otherwise, I did everything else. Wave 2 is out now. RPGs.com. Random pin sets. There's rares. There's ultra rares. It's so much fun. I personally love it. All right. That's it. We're done. Thanks, everybody, for coming, man. This was fun. This is a great, great, great fun stream. Got some heavy, heavy foils. Heavy foils. That's why this stack is so heavy, because every single card is a foil. Usually the rare stack, it's like, some are foil and some are just regular cards. But every single card in this stack is a foil. That's why it's so fucking heavy. This weighs a ton. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. 
Um, anyway, oh, there's a there's a last minute super chat. Stacy Grass, have you watched the new Game Grumps animated by Rectal Bisque? It's so cute and well done. If it's for the if it's for the channel, then yes, I have to I have to approve them all. Um, so I have seen it if it's on the channel. Uh, otherwise, I probably have it. Um, so I will go look it up if it's not. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. I'm getting hungry. I want to go home and see my wife. Maybe play Unreal Tournament. Maybe play Doom Eternal. I don't know. Susie and I have been playing a lot of Wheel of Fortune. So, I just want to say, I love these streams. I look forward to them every week. Also, I'm not going to be having a stream Friday on account of Thanksgiving. i um, going to take a, take a day off. I'll be back next Tuesday um, to stream some stuff. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but it'll be something fun. I think it might be um, Shiny Star V, so two Pokemons in a row. That'd be fun, right? Uh, that's the latest Japanese set. It's like this one. It has shinies in it, or it's like uh, a GX Ultra Shiny. I have a bunch of boxes coming. So that's going to be dope. It's going to be hype. It's going to be sick. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I hope you guys look forward to it, too. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're in America. If not, I just hope you have a wonderful Thursday, because <laughs> why not? I know it's tough for everybody, probably a lot of people not going to see their families, and that's fine. And you are helping us all by not doing that. So thank you. Um, I was like, I was just running through my head of like, what do I usually say at the end of the streams? Oh, yes. Um... Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you for watching. I love – it's it's always amazing to me that I can open up cards and everybody watches and likes it, and it really impresses me every time. Thank you for playing with my stupid jokes. Thank you for understanding when I'm being mean it's a joke, and I'm not trying to be mean. It's just a joke. Uh, <laughs> thank you for playing along with the Zygarde bit. I appreciate that. I hope that's a running bit forever. Uh I love you all. Um, thank you for everyone who super chatted. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going. I'm fading out. Watch this. Goodbye. <laughs>